And this is the part where you scream. Oh! God, why? Why? Oh, do it! Why? Don't no. bring me here! <laughs> I'm eating, though. Well, Bra Bracky, that sounds like a you problem. It is. Have you tried starving and not eating at all? That was like too, that was too many different diets. Uh, I, see, I, see. I gotta grab so many books for this. <laughs> so many. And that so sounds like a you loud. problem. Oh shade! Yeah. I invited you here, and you're already <laughs> being a nuisance. Thank you. Already no, I do not like. I do not like the combination of Shay and Bracky in the same room. Like now, I'm slowly realizing. <laughs> There's too much stress. They you like, did leave as they... an enemy on Twitter, so. <laughs> At least you're not. It is what it is, bro. Or Draco. Draco's real bad. Yeah, she's evil. <laughs> pure evil. Yeah, she's absolutely pure evil. All right, let's grab the character back. I want to have you guys know that because of the sheer complexity of this module, I actually have bought the separate maps, like the little map kit that has the maps of Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And I'm going to tape Ooh. it. So that way I have it on reference. It's just taped to the wall. There, it's actually just really have nice. Space. There, uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage maps and miscellany is what it's called. And mm. they come with they come with all the maps, and I bought this when Dungeon the Mad Mage came out because I, I got the book, I saw the I saw what was inside, and went ha, huh! and so I went out immediately and bought these maps because I'm like I if I ever run this I'm gonna need these. Yeah. For anybody who doesn't yeah. know that Dungeon of the Mad Mage is very large, exploratory. It's a mega dungeon, right? Yeah, they are there are twenty mega dungeons. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big game. Oh yeah, room one. What? <laughs> yeah, room one. You guys immediately die. <laughs> I mean, it's a possibility. I've talked to people who've run this. Uh, I've only talked to like two people. Um, the most immediate person who I know very well had played this and only went through one session of it and said that it it's you know it it has the chance to be a spicy meatball. Hmm. A spice in me, but There's a spice. So in can I. Well, that's just spicy. But uh You've all no. offended my Italian heritage. I hate you all now. Yeah, good, good. Microaggression. No. Microaggression the shag. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Imagine being Italian, <laughs> Mamma Mia. I'm only half Italian, so I'm only half offended. <laughs> uh one of the things about this game too, I forgot to mention this, is that there are gonna be moments where I'm going to pause. Um specifically with uh, because I'm reading. Never assume mm -hmm. it's to murder you. It usually is just because they're describing the room to me. Um, I will assume it's to murder us. Yeah, well, okay, if you want to. But it's they're very in-depth descriptions of the rooms, which is very helpful uh, for a play-by-play -play basis, but it does require me to read. But if Bracky can attest, I read really fast, so hopefully yep. it won't take too much time. It's upsetting when you're going through a cutscene and you just skip over the dialogue. I'm not. I'm reading it, and like you're even like James, you and said, "I'm like, yeah." They said this, this, that, and you're like, "What the?" F you were like, it is, like, "It is very impressive." You're like, "What? How did you even get that information?" And I'm like, "I, because I read really fast." Mm-hmm. But yes, hello everybody. Hello chat. Uh, I'm just gonna call out some bits and subs here. Uh, by the way, if anybody else in the game is streaming, uh, let me know because if you, I am not. Know, you're not? Okay. Nah. If anybody wants to, you're allowed to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it is like, I'm not going to shoot your kneecaps out if you do. Oh, yeah, I'm Elf. totally a streamer now. Oh, yeah, Shay. Welcome to the life. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the stress and crippling crippling oh, guilt when no. you don't stream on a day. It's part of the <laughs> job description. I really want to have a slogan where it's not a Monty Glue stream if it isn't canceled. Because <laughs> I cancel so often. <laughs> Especially when I get busy. It's just like, I gotta focus on Unexpectables. I'm sorry. Uh, Urban L, thank you so much for the tier one sub for nine months. You are now a sub baby. We got some new visitors here too. We have CD Regulus. Thank you. Welcome to the chat. We have uh, G Wigig, D's Nuts, D and D's Nuts. I, oh, I, I wish I could, I wish, I wish I could undo someone who's new. Undelete <laughs> <How do you laughs> <delete, laughs> someone's account. Yeah. I wish I could delete them. Uh, and Biggest Gal, I like that name. I love these character designs. Uh, even though he's a bastard, Brachyzoid did draw these characters, so good job. Bracky. I, I that's am a Brack, bastard. That's, that's Brachyzoid. There's the beautiful bastard. There he is. <laughs> there Point. He is. 
Zan win. Thank you so much for the tier and sub for 11 months. Uh, Monty, don't lie. You know you. <laughs> uh, Zan win said 11 months. Good luck on the new campaign. This is going to be pretty chill. Like I said, I've told people, like, if you just want to drop in and watch some D&D, this is the one to watch. Because this is not <laughs> going to be probably too reliant on watching previous episodes, really. For the most this part. is just hanging out, going through a dungeon. Yep. It's like, it's going to be more... It's going to be like light roleplay board game action with, with some really engaging d dungeon stuff. So this is the place to catch it. Uh, Dr. Dank Memes, PhD. They get so much for the tier one sub for seven months. Uh, yes, and you actually spelt it right, Zizu the Dark Witch. It, you spelt Shay correctly for the first time, which is kind of a miracle. What? Everyone, yeah. Nobody ever it. gets it right. It's They always spell it with a Y or an E. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Was it like shy, like S H A I? Shy but shy. Uh, it, won't, it won't turn into a regular show scenario, will it? I don't know if you're referencing the regular show with like the the blue jay guy and the squirrel, or if like this is gonna be a regular thing. This is gonna be a regular thing. I'm hoping that we can stream this, but we're not like I'm not married. Unless we it. die in this episode. Yeah, unless you die. I mean that is <laughs> a possibility. Uh, flying banana really star. Fun. Oh my god, let's see how deep this hole goes. Don't dig too deep. But, uh, like my grave. So, for those of you guys who don't know, these are our players. We have Boo Radley. Hello! We have Zorin the Bear. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> fucking should be. Um, <laughs> we have the one who should be even more sorry. We have uh, Brachizoid. I regret, nothing, but I, I regret nothing, but I feel bad for you. Uh, and we have uh, Fanfur, also known as Shay. They're an IRL friend of mine who have actually, I think this is like That's your first cool. time joining me on a stream ever. Um, I've been on the New Year's stream. Remember, I played oh, games that's with right. you. That's right. You did play games. Yeah. With us on the stream. So but was... be careful because remember, I know all your secrets. Shay, <gasps> I know where you live, Shay. Blackmailing. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's the a... power. She knows all my secrets too, so I, I have do. to be careful. I do. Yeah. I, I could, I could kidnap your cats for ransom. <gasps> No. That's too much. I I know Draco has a key to your house, so I'll just oh, break fuck. into her house and then break into your house. Here's the problem, all right? <laughs> if you ever if you go to Draco's place and you you go to their house uninvited when they're trying to relax, that is going to be more of a worry than whatever you're trying to do with me cuz like Draco and Hartsey will rip your head off. Let's be real here. <laughs> they're huge homebodies. They once they're home and they're relaxing, yeah. you don't bother them. That's that's the way that they are. But yes, we are here. We are, uh, so for those of you guys who don't know who are like, what the hell is happening? Is this a new campaign? Uh, this is not officially endorsed by Unexpectables. This is a side project of mine. Um, this is Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It is a pre-written 5th edition module that was released by Wizards of the Coast in, I believe, uh, 2018. Um... Yep. It is a very, it's by far the largest scale pre-made adventure that they've released. Um, don't really have an in intention, at least, to run the entire thing, because it's I <laughs> very long, and I can't understate how, or overstate, I guess, I can't overstate how big this module is. This is a massive module. Um, but it is starts at 5th level, and we're going to be using uh, a lot of rule sets for this, specifically that are official. This is where we're going to be trying out some things. So, bit of a difference here. We are using carrying weight. We are using survival mechanics. Uh, we are using spell components that require paid materials. That has not been changed. Uh, we are using the advantage flanking rule, temporarily. Uh, we are also using, uh, oh god, my brain just stopped working. Yeah, we're using, we're using a lot of survival mechanics in this dungeon. There are specific things in the dungeon that, uh, carry themselves well to these mechanics. So we're gonna be giving it a try. That being said, as we progress through this game, we will be adjusting rules as we go. But just for context, all these rules will be reviewed and approved by the players. So if I'm like, hey, I don't want to do the advantage flanking rule anymore. Do you guys want to go to the plus two rule? All the players have to agree before I change that rule. And that will have to be changed off game. So when we're not playing the game, essentially. I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking of the players we have. And it's like, I think the the advantage rule is going to be more against our, 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 our party. Mainly because we are three casters. Oh, no, wait, no, we have a rogue. I forgot. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow, you forgot the gnome. It's great. I, I, I I'm, like used to, I'm used to gnome wizard. I'm sorry. I'm offended. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so wow. small. We've already started. And there's already. We have an appropriate small. amount of mages for the mad mage, so I, I think, think we have. Be good. No healers. No healers. <laughs> yeah, this this no party healers. has no healers at all. Like I don't. There, there's not even a single character who has a healing spell. That's I die. That's schnutz. So. <laughs> Um, this is going to be very, very, very interesting. Um, and, and you know what? Whoever mm. dies first, congratulations. I hope you like playing a cleric. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just call out some more additional bits and subs here and we'll get started. Cause again, this is super chill. The other thing about this game as well is we're going to just play until we want to stop. Um, so if I'm like, you know, if we hit 1130 and I'm like, me tired, we stop, we'll stop. If we want to go longer, we go longer. It's all up to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that one person in here has to get up in the morning, so I feel like we're going to be at their mercy a little bit more, but that's okay. Uh, uh me? looking at you, Shay, you have a career <laughs> and a life and what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, crossover, Imagine first time chatter. Oh boy, it's fun to play no healer parties, Lamau. Yep, this is gonna be very interesting. Mm. Mr. Insecure, hey Monty, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm a little tired. I had to do a makeup class today, and so I had to be up really early, or at least early by my definition. Roto Ryu, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 21 months. Currently on a 19 month streak, thank you. Prob's not a bot, thank you so much for the tier one sub for four months, thank you. Uh, yes, and big additional rule, uh, absolutely no, uh, pre-written game spoilers in the chat. If mm -hmm. we're in, like, an area and you're like, oh, there's a secret door here, you will not get a warning. You will be banned instantly. I don't like to threaten bans. I, I think it creates a very tense environment, but we will have a zero, uh, tolerance policy on this. Mm -hmm. If you, if you spoil anything in this game in any chat um like you're getting you're getting booted i'm sorry so this is this is your warning i will do this before we start every single game do not spoil anything do not presume just don't like even coming and be like oh have they gotten to blank part yet that will also get you in trouble so just err on the side of caution don't assume just come and watch enjoy comment laugh at bracky as he fails and dies and you know all that yeah wait hey, hold on yeah Riven Ashbear, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for eight months. Uh, can't wait to see you guys go through the Mad Mage Dungeon. My group just did this module. It's super fun. I've heard good things. And Quinn, one to one Healers, who needs them? Just blast the enemies. Bada boom. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> yeah. You can't take damage Bada when the enemy's beam. dead. That's how he works. Yeah, precisely. You just simply cannot get hit. Precisely. All right. So, are you guys ready to jump into the dungeon of the Mad Mage? Uh, one little thing. Yeah. I will probably get up at one point just because I did order food because I haven't eaten yet today. Uh, but they're mm -hmm. a little behind in terms of the food itself. So, hopefully, we'll get it at some point. The god munchies. But, yeah. our adventure shall begin. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. We'll start with, first, a little bit of housekeeping. We're going to go in order from biggest to smallest, because that seems to be working. Well. <laughs> Boo Radley, could you, for me, uh, this will not be a podcast, but just for those who might just want to listen, could you describe your character for everybody and what he looks like, his name, and if you could give me your passive uh, perception as well as your passive insight. Sure thing. I play Thaddeus Bragg, the greatest magician in the world. Uh, he is an extremely tall man, six foot eight. He has green. He's a half orc, like a little bit of turquoise green. He's got uh, like jet black hair with a few like white streaks, with, with a tiny little ponytail, and he is dressed in the nines in red. Like think of a red mage, if you will, with a big old cape and a big bullyard, whatever that thing is. Corvat. And that's pretty corvat, yeah. And he has a single rapier by his side. So literally a red mage. Okay. And what is your passive uh, perception for me? <laughs> My passive perception is nine. And what is your passive uh, investigation? Uh, Eleven. All right. Literally oblivious. The second tallest member of the party. 
Zorin, could you describe your character for us? Sure can. I am playing Lex. He is a uh, human fighter. Uh, coming from coming from uh, lowly beginnings, he you'll see him as fairly tall individual, blonde hair, a bit of a snaggle tooth going on. Uh, otherwise appreciated by people of old, he's now after his long career of being a soldier, he now wears a torn banner around his neck, and he kind of uses it as a impromptu uh, kind of cape because he's so inspired by heroes of old. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. He'll have his shield strapped to his back along with his ginormous backpack carrying everyone's stuff <laughs> and his long swords at his side. His passive perception will be 14 and all his other passive uh, passive stuff is 11. Okay. Our second smallest member, which is a surprise for this particular player, Bracky, if you could describe your character for us. Yeah, this is the first time I'm not just shortest character in the game. But, uh, hello there. I am Lionel Farita, Cervix and Larch and Bomber, Oberon Ortega, Tenderman Jensen III. You may also call me just Lionel. I am but a humble halfling wizard. Uh, you may know me from my books uh, that I have written in all over this the Sword Coast. Uh, like the one you read at one time and the one you will read later. Don't worry about the titles. And my passive wisdom perception is 11. And my passive investigation is 16. Okay. Curse you, smart nerd wizards. And our smallest member. Could you describe Ooh. your character, please? Hey, so I'm Nyx. I play a uh, forest gnome. I'm pretty, pretty tiny. I got some kind of wavy, curly red hair held up in a bun above my head. I have a uh, dark green cloak um yeah i'm a tiny gnome named nix <laughs> <Look up. laughs> i would like you all to know i am very small <laughs> that, very that's my entire characteristic is small it's really tiny, honestly tiny. what is your I'm, passive perception my passive perception is 14 and my investigation is 14 all right i just imagine how small and the half orc opens his palm and he's there <laughs> yeah <laughs> a child all right, so you guys are currently gathered at the Yawning Portal Tavern in Waterdeep. You guys have collected gear, hearing rumors about the mysterious and yet very lucrative Undermountain that resides underneath the Yawning Portal. Many of an adventurer delving down into its mysterious depths, finding magical items and treasures and ancient histories that lie beyond but with it an equal part of danger that also seems to follow in its wake. As you guys are currently having your celebratory drink at the Yawning Portal, a provided tankard of ale, you are uh, approached by a rather portly individual. A, uh, I believe he's a human. Let me just see here. Again, I have to use the pre-written information. Whoa, it's crazy. <clears throat> oh god. You, you got this. I got this. Got it. You're you powerful. actually are approached by a very famous explorer that you've heard of. A fellow author as well, uh, Lionel. Oh. A Volothamp Gedarm approaches your guys' table and buys you a round of drinks and kind of leans forward and goes, Pardon me for interjecting on the celebrations but um m my name is volo a pleasure to meet you may have, may have heard of my books and he kind of flashes a bit of a smile oh yeah there's a little bit right but you know right it's it's, ah. a good, it's a good work you must also be an author i can't help but notice the and he kind of looks over at the gear you guys have all kind of compiled into these large backpacks and like the various bars of soap that you've bought um, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, you guys kind of look up at this gentleman, he goes, I would like to perhaps request something of you if you're going to be going into the Undermountain. What would you like to request? There's a story, uh, that- Now, hold on. Does this request have a price? Well, it could, but let me finish my request, my good sir. Hmm. Let the drink be a sort of- Mm, prepayment 
minor. And he kind of gives you a bit of a wink. I'll take it. There's an old story that dates to the fall of Elifarn. It was an elden kingdom, far to the north. There was a throne. Uh, it belonged to the remaining colonel of Ilifarn, and it disappeared, it, it disappeared uh, from the capital city. Apparently, it may reside in the Undermountain, um, perhaps where something else has been built. And it is said that it was stolen or perhaps even destroyed by a group of dwarves who, well, feared its destruction as it is a very fine-crafted piece of work. There are rumors, and some of the elves I've met have been speaking about it, that perhaps the throne may have found its way into the Undermountain. There's no doubt that dwarves had carved the major and uh, most close levels of the Undermountain. Perhaps they may have had it stored somewhere. But I do know some elves of the north who are looking for it, um, and perhaps could pay quite well. Hmm. So what you're trying to tell me is that a bunch of rich people are trying to look for a very fancy chair. <laughs> More and all or less. we have to do is find it. Yes, you don't even have to bring hmm. it back. If you could, if you could simply chart where you found it and return and provide that information to me or the individuals. Me would be probably better, as I'm sure they might not quite believe some strangers. No offense, you do look like a rather trustworthy bunch, but um, I'm sure they would be quite happy. Um, it is an alabaster throne, so that would be the most key portion to it. And very, very fine craftsmanship, if hopefully, um, if it is down there and it is within the same uh, state as it was in history. You understand, right? Time is, um, well, a bit of a pain for most things. Except for the elves. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can't help but laugh a little too. bit. Can't help but laugh a little bit when they're having to deal with it in different ways. Through specifically their objects and histories. But um, I figured I might as well catch your ear. You seem like folk who would be reliable. I mean, prepared at least. And he points towards the soap again that you guys have currently in your bags. <laughs> And oh, just yes, soap. of course. <laughs> I like to keep clean. It is also very useful. Uh, but yeah, if we were thinking of getting some uh, from the stories of the Undermount and get some rewards from it, and we've managed to find set throne and also get something from it, that does sound like a good opportunity. Again, this is no contract. It's more of like, if you do it, you do it, and there's rewards to be had. I can't promise the rewards are going to be Amazing, since I won't be the one providing them, but at the very least, it's something. And I always like to help out the adventurers here and there. They tend to help out in turn. And who knows, it could be more work opportunities for you. I mean, it does sound fun. A barkeep! Another round for these ones. On the house, on me, on my tab. And you see the barkeep, this really kind of grizzled-looking old guy, just kind of turn around and go and fill up some tankards, and you guys get a free drink before you guys hey. head out. So the throne of the colonel is essentially what's been provided. Throne of the colonel. Find a alabaster yeah. throne that belonged to the northern elves, and you will be rewarded. I Said mean, it can't simply be that bad to be find a dirty white throne, so I'd say let's do it. I mean, it's not like we have to find it. It's only if we find it, so... This is true. Also, we don't need to carry it back. <laughs> yes, that could. is very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have Codwell, the little weasel familiar that Lionel has, drink some of a bit of a drink. The little weasel kind of kind of scrambles off, and like you watch as he just dunks his head into the ale and just kind of like drinks, and then like kind of twitches his head around and kind of sneezes a little bit, and some of the ale spray sprays across the table. That's but... a bit of a problem. Unless you guys have anything else you would like to do, any roleplay we'd like to do, we can delve into the, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. But if you guys wish to maybe clarify some things, have a little discussion about your plans of action, you may. If not, we can jump into the hole that is essentially in the center of the tavern. Uh, there is a massive sort of well-like structure in the middle with a pulley system that kind of lowers down. Uh, notably, there are some guards kind of stationed around that area, and there's a lot of people in this tavern. This is like the most boppin' adventures tavern in Waterdeep, mm -hmm. um, mostly because there's a giant dungeon beneath it. 
uh, but also just because of the scale and the various different characters coming through. But you do notice that the gateway to the Undermountain is not that guarded. It's actually relatively quiet, but you have in the past, as you guys kind of have done your own private jobs or have come here for a drink, seen individuals kind of taking that pulley system down into this unknown space. Oh, it's like, it's like an attraction on itself, the the famous Undermountain. Where if you go down below and come man manage to come back, you become richer. Lex looks at everyone. Have you ever seen anyone come back? Hey, have we? Uh, I see a lot of people go down there, but... You have, I would say, probably... Let's see. What are, what are everyone's backgrounds? Uh, urchin. You're an urchin? <laughs> okay. You got two urchins, I believe. Oh, God. Uh, noble? Uh -oh. oh, shit. I am so sorry. I need to Is take Is that the this. food? That is me. Uh oh. It's the food. The food. The food. The food. Mmm, yummy. How are you doing, chat? <laughs> How are you the doing? DM had to leave. But hey. This is how it's gotta start, you know? Honestly, yeah. first episode. <laughs> it's, not to, it's not to mention we're just having fun here. It's nothing yeah. formal. Yeah. Very casual. Imagine yeah. we're all just around a table. Alexis is eating food quietly. Just like, yeah, I wonder if they're gonna... Yeah, I don't think you've ever seen anyone come back from the pulley system. It's fucking... I well, saw if they haven't, then they'll be the first. Wait, wait, wait. But, but, but how many? How many until there's a first, though? Eh, that's... Not necessarily something I'm aware of, but hey, one thing's for sure, it shouldn't be anything too we can't handle. I'm very confident for someone who's never seen anyone come back from a pulley system. <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> they we were not it. us. Just look at how much soap we have. We are ready for anything. Who brings soap? I look at my bags with the lack of soap. People of class, that's who. And he's coming from two so. I'm back. I don't know what that phone call is. The moment I hung up, like answered, it hung up. But my food is oh. here. Guess what they forgot? Yay. <laughs> and they uh -oh. the drink again. Yeah, forgot my drink again. What is wrong with Canada? I don't know. This is recent. They haven't been doing this before. I don't know why they keep doing this. But continue role playing, you guys. I hear you guys role playing. So if you guys don't mind buying me some time to quickly eat, no worries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just knocked my mic over. So you know, I'm I'm a good. <laughs> okay. But yeah, not. There was, a, there was a question of uh, if anyone has ever come out of it. I do know, at least, I don't know if you allow me to do some uh, history, because uh, my uh, previous knowledge of this place, that there, the I think I recall the barkeep was one of the people who actually came out of it. That's how he started the bar. Oh, that's hmm. fascinating. I suppose it would make for some good real estate. Charging people to go down the well to see if they can get some money out of it. And oh, like, yes, yeah. exactly. It's not a bad Lex, idea. Lex is feeling nervous about the idea, so he takes out, so he takes out a brick and just just kind of starts, you know, he takes like a little rag and just brushes off dirt from it. Why are you, okay you cleaning there? a brick? Oh, it's it's my family brick. A a brick. Yeah. A family like trick. Really? Yeah, it's it's the last thing my family gave me when I was leaving. They gave you a brick. Yeah. Not a note or a flower, a gem, the uh, love. Uh, no, yeah, a brick. Yeah, when you know, I mean, I was in an awful hurry and I was trying to I was trying to rush down the road and and they'd make sure to toss this brick at me because you know they wanted you know give me a, just a little bit of home when I was leaving. No, hold on, hold on, hold so on. Hold on. sweet of them. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Did I get that right? They threw you at the brick. Yeah. Did they say something when you they threw the brick? Oh, they were so, they were yelling a lot of affection at me. No, they were very worried about me, you know, being a soldier and stuff. Affection? What kind of affection? Oh, you know, this is like what families do. You know, they, you know, like very hard discipline to make sure you're, you know, you come out straight. And, so, uh, the passive-aggressive kind of affection. 
Oh, oh yeah, like you know, just they, you know, they always you know try to discipline you, you know, to get ready for the future. And uh, now when I was finally off going to be a soldier, they were oh they were so happy and everything for me to go there. They're very worried, but you know, a lot of there's a lot of yelling, a lot of just you know crying, things like that. It's a lot of effort to throw a brick, so obviously they cared enough to throw it for you. Oh, how heavy is that I'm brick? So happy. It's all it certainly my... more than I. Oh, good. It's, it's, I like it because, or I love it so much because it's just a little piece of home I just carry with me. It was certainly more than what my family gave me, that's for sure. Oh, you have a family? That's nice. Well, of I didn't course. have a family. Ah. There you go. At least I don't know my family. So, I mean, I had one. I'm sure I did, but. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Or whatever they're doing. You don't have a family? Well, I, I mean, I didn't know my family. I grew up in in this. Anyways. <laughs> Did you come out like a flower? Sure. Were you raised by wolves? No. Gnomes are no. not raised by wolves, you green bastard. Hey, I am a brilliant green turquoise. Thank you very much. Yeah. Look, regardless of that, I can't have all of you being your beautiful... <laughs> No down mood Excuse as we go me. down there. Excuse me, it's salmon, mm -hmm. not pink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fish. It's a color too. Uh. Sorry for the crinkling. I apologize. No, that's just me <laughs> taking out like my my drumstick from you know the stuff they're doing at the table and I'm eating. Excellent I'm trick still... here. Go ahead for me, Lionel, and roll that history check for the people who have come back out from the Undermountain. Roger, roger. Ba -ba -ba -ba. He -he 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 history. Wow, I have no history. What the hell? Okay. You've heard rumors that the barkeep has come back from the Undermountain. You know that the barkeep is a very, very strong retired adventurer. But he does, mm -hmm. ironically, despite owning a tavern, not one for conversation. He's very quiet, kind of disgruntled, doesn't really like to engage that much. Like, you've seen people go up to him and really pester him for information about how to, like, survive the dungeon. And oh, yeah. he doesn't give them anything. He's like, just go down the hole. Like, he literally is, like, one sentence, one sentence answer. Um, but one time when you were here kind of, like, trying to, you know, get some ideas for your books... Um, you did notice one adventure kind of climb out, kind of, like, haggard. Uh, and they were covered with, like, giant welts of some kind, like, from oh. an insect or something. You're not sure. Uh, you also heard rumors that, like, a couple weeks later, a bunch of sturges and even a troll had come out from that hole. And, a troll? Yeah, and had to be stopped by some individuals in the bar. I believe, actually, <laughs> Nick's... Maybe we could carry this over, because you actually did play in uh, Dragon Heist with Nyx, if that's okay with you, Shay. Uh, that's actually true, yeah. <laughs> you did, yeah. You helped with the Sturges, Nyx, when that happened, because you were at the bar with some friends. Uh, the barkeep 1v1 the troll, which really tells you that he was kind of, he's kind of a badass, a secret badass. Hot damn. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. God, I know that's. I can imagine people go to him. Oh, can you give me the cheat codes? No, no, sh shut up, get out of here. <laughs> Literally, barkeep's like get good. Oh my, oh, this is the Dark Souls of D and D. I love it. Oh my God, yeah, the the owner of the Yawning <laughs> Portal is the Dark Souls of D and D. Yeah, Nyx has like a little notebook where she keeps notes, and she has a drawing of like the in, like the uh, barkeep, and it's like don't mess with, like an arrow pointing to him. <laughs> I'll follow that drawing. I mean the note. <laughs> but if all of you have any everything you need, should we buy? Uh, no, we have we have our rations, we have our drinks, our we soap. Have water, we have soap. Uh, we have. I think I believe we have everything we need. Unless anyone has any other last minute things that we need to take care of. All right, this is the last minute purchase period. If you guys have anything last minute you want to grab, now is the time. I will say I might recommend you guys pick up cartographer's tools for the quests that you've been asked to perform if you wish. You guys um, will need to make a map to get you there. You will need to make a map to mm -hmm. figure out how to get back to that location. I'm going to use the cartographer's book. Uh, cartographer's Control. tools are... Let me look that up real fast for you. Ooh. 
I have a bunch of paper and st like the stuff to draw and, and uh, write, but cartographer sounds like more reasonable. If I want this to be more accurate. That's not official material. It's 15 gold piece for the cartographer's tools. All right, it is 15 gold. You guys had gotten, just to be transparent with the viewers, you guys were mm -hmm. given some starter gold that was recommended for your level. So that is what you guys have gotten. Uh, you yes, guys and we purchased everyone. a lot of soap. Everyone, yeah, yeah, you purchased way too much soap. Uh, for for soap. context, the party had received their starting equipment, but also 500 gold to spend on anything uh, within certain pages of the player's handbook. No magical items. Uh, it is recommended for this pre-made adventure to not go mm -hmm. in with magical items unless they had done the uh, dragon heist beforehand. So, all okay, so I'm... in love and war and dungeon delving. So if anybody wants to purchase a cartographer tool, um, it's six pounds, and I, I can't carry a lot of weight, so if somebody else wants to, <laughs> to purchase wow, that... Uh, I see. I see. Make the taller people muscles. carry your stuff, huh? I see. Make the person with the strength score carry all your stuff, huh? All the Let me ice just <laughs> <laughs> my backpack ready for you, then. Go ahead. Hold it on back there. I'll carry oh. your crap. Well, how nice of you! And I put the cartographer's <laughs> kit in the backpack. Yeah, six pounds is too much for me. I'm I'm almost at my carrying capacity. Okay, I can't. <laughs> you just can't. You're doing such a great job, chat. I'm just gonna give him a, a, a shoulder tap. Last we go. Yeah, thanks, man. I just imagine Nix. You just hand her a loaf of bread, and she just collapses on the ground because she's over encumbered like Skyrim. I did have to my cut down how many pleasure. rations I packed, okay? I, I was overcumbered by my rations, so I had to cut them down. <laughs> also, You're just very... to be sure, uh, uh -huh. what's our what's our inventory on potions of healing? Got the one. I have four. I have two. I have two as well. Hmm. How about this? I will graciously give you one, Lionel, and I will buy another one for myself. And he's gonna buy one potion of healing for Lionel. Okay, Lionel, you gain an additional potion of healing with a expenditure of 50 gold pieces. I'm gonna have Codwell pick up the, the potion but by his finger as he walks back. <laughs> it's a little bit of a ratty guy. Give me that. Adding a second potion. Appreciate it. You know, like St. Bernard's, sure where they have, like, the little, like, thing around their neck, like, the little medical thing yeah. around their neck? It's like your <laughs> your your little, uh, it's like a ferret. It's like a weasel, right? Mm-hmm. It's a weasel. Um, I, 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 wanted imagine... a ferret, I wanted a ferret or an otter, but they are not part of the list. Or you could do, like, a, a mink. Game. I like mink. Mink are really cool. Mink? Yeah, they're aquatic, like, ferret. They're the same family, but they kill muskrats. They're, like, aquatic. They can swim they're underwater. They can go into little small holes. They're like a bigger ferret, but have like the coloration of like a, um, like a like a flat color to them. They're really cool. Yeah, but it's it's a ferret. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's a it's a weasel at this point. I had to make the drawing and everything. <laughs> no worries. Uh, yeah. All right. So, you guys gain a potion. Anything else you would like to buy before you uh, begin your descent, or do you uh, guys want to make your way over to the we, hole that leads into the undermountain? We bought the cartographer's kit, but who spent the money? Did you spend the money, Nix, or do we pull out all of us? I mean, I can spend the money if somebody else carries it. I can do that. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I already put the 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 tool in the, in the in the backpack, so. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll pay. In, in Lex's backpack, if I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was fine to put it. Welcome to the party, Patsy. <laughs> okay, I purchased it, so so we have it. It's. It's just in somebody else's bag. Now, I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna put this on the table again. Anything. Are you sure you guys don't wanna buy a five health dog to carry your stuff? <laughs> you really want this? <laughs> I want one, but it's I gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> There's the fear of that dog dying. I would walk it off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what horrors are down there. Sorry, as I swallowed the last little bit of my burger. <laughs> With my lack of a drink, again. Fucking God. so... They even put a straw in the bag, man! <laughs> There's a straw. No, no drink for you, though. So now I know Aww. I know that they gave them the drink. They just... The driver didn't give me the fucking drink. No, there here's the thing, though. <laughs> I, I just realized. What's stopping us from advancing a couple of rooms and then going back up here? 
I mean, you can, but I wouldn't advise it. Yeah. We'd look like cowards, man. Can't do that. Yeah, it don't look like a bitch. Weak babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. If we go big, or go home. Screw that dog. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. Are you guys ready to descend into the dungeon of the Mad Mage? Is yes. there okay? Yes. One last yeah. one last thing, actually. This is the time is to there, do it. Yeah. Is there any like religious symbol in this tavern or something? People like they pray to before they go down there. Uh, that's a really good question, and I don't know. Because I feel like if you're gonna go down there, you're going to pray. Let's see here. Like a symbol of Timora or something. Seeing here. We'll be feeding for the goddess of luck. Also, the uh, the proprietor's name is Durnan. That's his name. Durnan, with his weird gigantic monsters that is also mutton chops. Now, there is a little thing to know about this. There is none. I don't see anything here about any gotcha. religious symbols. But you do have to pay one gold to go down, so. Yep, yep. I figure. Yeah, <laughs> just... Obviously, it's to pay the security that has to guard this giant gaping hole of death. Yeah, I take um, it one per person? Yeah, one per person to go and descend into the dungeon of the Mad Mage. But there are no religious symbols, surprisingly. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you guys go and pay, uh, you guys kind of all approach as a group, or do you have just one person go over and pay for everybody? We are all together, I guess. We see yeah, we're making cool. our way there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you do so, there's a few different I individuals at the actual bar itself. You see, like, a dragonborn and, like, two humans who kind of look like... They look like, um, they drive carts in Waterdeep. Uh, and as you kind of hand the gold to Jernan, who takes it and just kind of, put, like, kind of juts his head towards the hole, one of the... The dragonborn kind of turns and goes, Ah, put my money down on the, the blonde human. I think he'll live. And, uh, I'm not putting any money on that guy. And he points at, uh, you, uh... Uh, he points at you, Thaddeus. He's like, too uh, posh and pretty. You ain't gonna last a minute down there. And he takes a <laughs> swig of his drink. And he watches uh, the humans. I... He watches the human goes, Ah, oh, put down two gold for the gnome. And like, they seem to be taking bets on who's gonna come back and who's not. It's kind of messy. Uh, like, could I roll? <laughs> Freaking death. Could I roll perception? Look, or would that be passive? Look, Thaddeus. They called uh, you pretty. What are you looking for, specifically? <laughs> just, to, just to see if I can hear that. Oh, you do. They're, they're clearly you... saying it as you guys are right there next to them. That is going to his head over today. I beg your pardon. Listen, I'm just <laughs> saying, you ain't got time there to do your hair all nice. We had some uh, flowery-looking wizard go down there a couple weeks back. Poor guy lost oh. his hat. Well, I'm not that guy, but do you happen to know who I am? No. After they said they had, after they said they had thing got called well, just covers his hat more. He's going to, like, dramatically put his boot on the table and strike a pose. I am the great Thaddeus Bragg, the greatest magician in the world. There's nothing down there I can't handle. So, why don't you... So, about that bet. Can I, uh... Four can... gold on the human. <laughs> he just, like, looks over towards oh. Durnan. That's not what I... Uh, <sighs> never mind. I, I want to do a thing as you do a pose. Can you have, like, a loose thread that's on your cape? And then I'll, like, yes, find absolutely. it. Yes, absolutely. And, like, and, and then I'll start pulling it so... It's just enough movement from your cape so it looks like it's bellowing. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I'll have you know that I'm a great bet. And why is that? Because I have magic. And he's going to use prestidigitation to, like, billow, like, and, and just, like, do a bunch of flashy display. Five gold on the human. He just turns back to Jordan and Jordan's like, <laughs> just kind of marks it on the board. Oh, come on. Nothing on the halfling? Come on, guys. Oh, you watch this? Like, one of the humans goes, oh, I didn't even see you there. Ah, ah, he's kind of scrawny. I'll put one gold on the halfling. You're putting one gold on the halfling? Yeah, look at him. He's got a right here. He's got a little do-rag. He looks like he's capable. Eh. What? Eh. Bah. I, yeah, when you're short, you get to you. stay out of sight, you know, so that's why it gives us better odds. Yeah. yeah. Besides, we're betting on people who are going to come back, not necessarily succeed, so don't take it as too much of an insult. And he kind of leans to his buddy and goes, he's not going to last a day. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of insulting either way. 
I, come on. Hey, uh, I think come on, you're going to last more than one day. Come on, come oh, on, Theo. Thank you. you, mm -hmm. you At least look, look. This only makes it so when the moment you come back, it's going to feel way better. Also, mm. you want to show off? Prepare to get dirty down there. Let's go. Oh, trust me, I am capable of being dirty as possible. But with class. Alright, you guys make your way over to that well and that pulley system. The guards kind of look. You see a half-orc guard, kind of fightery looking guy. Looks kind of capable, kind of gives you a bit of a nod. Uh, on the other side, you see like a dwarf kind of wearing a big sort of like horned helmet, kind of looking side to side. And they also give you a nod. As you guys walk up to the pulley system, who wants to go down first? Me! All right, Nyx, Ooh. you gleefully yeah. jump up on top <laughs> of the brick stonework well, grab onto the pulley, and <laughs> descend down into the dark depths below. I follow behind. All right. Lionel, you also follow behind, giving a bit nod to the guards, and as you climb down, it <laughs> kind of goes slower than you expect, but you slowly begin to descend. The moment you're met with kind of dirty moss-ridden stonework. You do see some scrape marks, probably from some boots of people kind of climbing up. You also see, <laughs> worryingly so, uh, some massive claw marks from something oh. climbing up this shaft. Uh, you just hear echoing from the well. So, wait, what was the safe word again? Who would like to go next? How do we get out of here? <laughs> uh, Thaddeus will go on next. All right, Thaddeus. Oh. He's going to grab the pulley, like, just, like, do a presentation below his cape. He's going to point at the dragonborn and the other ones. Prepare to lose your measly pocket change. Uh, I'll be back. He kind of does, like, he doesn't even look at you. He just kind of waves slightly from the bar, and you can just see him sipping his drink. Bro, these completely unplus simpletons. And he's just going to, like, like, just, like, shamefully lower himself down. All right. You, you actually go faster just because you're physically larger than the smaller folk. And it kind of begins to spin. Yeah. You actually have to kind of like, whoa, 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 kind of steady yourself as you head down. Lex, you are uh. the last one in the tavern. Lex will kind of walk back over to the dragonborn and them, the guys who are betting, and he's going to put down 10 and basically like, on the wizard. I'll be back. And then he goes down. Okay, you're going to bet on Thaddeus? Mm-hmm. Okay, you put 10 gold down on Thaddeus. Write that down. And and I want him Ooh. and I want him to also uh, be like I want that to go in your pool, Dragonborn. He kind of narrows an eye. This Dragonborn is like a brass Dragonborn. He kind of kind of cocks his head and narrows his eyes and goes, "Well, it's a win-win, I suppose, huh?" Mhm. Mm I just don't want him to feel like he doesn't have a chance. And then like he goes back to, down, enjoys the rest. He just takes a sip of his drink as you leave, and you. <laughs> You go really fast because your armor. You are very heavy. Also, you're carrying <laughs> yeah. like everything. <laughs> Where everyone else had like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like going down. Like there's this horrible screeching noise. He is no fear. He is just holding down his. <laughs> 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 just a smile on his face. Delve down below, we begin the adventure. Oh. There we go. Tavern music. Goodbye. Land music. instant combat. <laughs> yeah. Battle begins now! Uh oh. <laughs> I Fight your way first. back at the rope. <laughs> and now we change the map to the. Five balls. There we go. There are so many maps, Jesus. I'm hearing skeletons. Skeleton warrior. Skelly man. Skeleton man. Skeleton man. Calcium strength at his command. Skeleton man. As you guys land down, your feet. Boom. Oh, I see this. Yeah, mm. you guys are right in the middle there. I see you and you and you. The moment you guys hit the ground, you hear kind of a. Shh a little bit, like something kicking up, and as you look down at your feet, you see sand. This compartment of the chamber appears to be filled, filled with sand. Oh, I hate sand. Ugh, it's coarse and gets everywhere. Lex doesn't like being here anymore. It's not terribly <laughs> deep, it's maybe like- Wiggy Bob, we go back. <laughs> no. 
Like starts going back up. Uh, yeah. back. Maybe it's time to start pulling him back. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We can get. We that. gotta go farther. It might not be like this the entire way. And we need to prove those brackets wrong. Sorry, again, I have to read every every room I have no to read. Worries. No worries. No, it's okay. Uh, immediately you see to the west of your position, I will I will be using north, south, east, and west to describe directions. Uh, to the mm -hmm. west of your position, you do see a, a tunnel that leads out. Yeah, west, yeah. East. And everything is just a wall. Uh, there's actually a bunch of shields hanging on the walls. There's what? 60 is of it dark? them. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of light still peering down from above, and you can hear the idle sa the sounds of like the tavern patrons above. You hear like a "Get me on the rail" kind of echoing up above you. Lex will take out one of the torches from his bag, but then tap it over to the uh, over the boom and be like, "Like light, please." Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. And he's like, "Is it possible to just like use presentation to like like light something up, or do I have to, should I just use my fucking?" That is continual flame. I'll say firebolt. I'll just say like you kind of do like a little bit of like a few okay. little firebolt. All right. Let's go. He's like, "Do you not have?" Uh... He's like, he'll look at the flame thing. Like, do you have like that wizard thing that like does not do the flame? Oh, the wizard thing that doesn't do the flame. <laughs> I got you covered. Right. The, one that, the light that cannot be extinguished. Hmm, I'm afraid not, but I do have this. And he's gonna hold out a firebolt. Huh? Pretty oh, cool, okay. right? You can't you can't hold it. That's continual flame, unfortunately. Firebolt implies ah, that you, have, okay. you have to throw it instantly, unfortunately, yeah. Continual that, flame. That case, he's just gonna yeah. He's just gonna like shoot it in a random direction. So how about go let's go north. May I may I may I try to climb legs real quick? To climb? reach to reach to reach the torch. I mean Lex will just lower his arm. No, I'm trying to not let you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just I pop allow you to just climb up. Just pop on your shoulder and just... Sorry, let, 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 let an actual wizard take care of this and just touch your torch to cast light on it. Ah, oh, there you go. There's your oh. light spell. Oh, there we go. And Lex will equip a shield in his, in his left arm and just kind of grab onto the torch there. And then, also, you know, just kind of get ready with everything. He's like, okay, uh, should I go first or... Thaddeus, you said you wanted to throw a firebolt just before we continue. Yeah, he'll just like throw it in only random directions you can't hold it. He'll roll, just like go north as roll possible. A, roll a firebolt for me. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, fuck. Um. That's right. I gotta I gotta use the character sheet on roll twenty. I'm used to doing it on like I know, you're used to D D Beyond. Welcome to different yeah. different <laughs> Different Oh Future okay. Phew. You, you throw a firebolt in the north and you actually hit one of the metal shields. Uh, they're not as nice as your shield, Lex. Like, nothing here is an upgrade at all. It's They're all very old. The shield that Thaddeus hits actually like, has a giant slash mark going through it. Mm -hmm. And Thaddeus, as you hit the shield, it clatters into the sandy ground, and you see with the light of the light spell behind that shield is actually some text. Oh. Oh. Interesting. He will go investigate. What languages does everybody know? I know oh. under common. I know Elvish and Orc. You can read it, Thaddeus. It is an Elvish. Oh. Ooh, then what does it say? Beyond the pillar forest, the mad mage waits, casting spells behind magic gates. Hmm. Beyond the peeled forest. Beyond the pillar forest, the mad mage waits, casting spells behind magic gates. Hmm. Apparently, there's going to be something called a pillar forest and a mad mage. He might be waiting for us. Pillar as in a pillar as in a column, or...? I'm not necessarily sure. It just said pillar forest. Whatever that includes, I'm not sure. You know, after seeing this, let's start checking behind shields just in case in the room. Okay. Guys, can go ahead if you wish to. Oh! Yeah, what would you like to do next? Oh, I was going to say, how many shields are in the room? 60. Oh, that's a lot of shields. Mm -hmm. I will check a uh, couple of shields on the east side. Okay. Uh, Lionel, as you go over and you grab one of the shields, it like breaks apart in your hand and clatters to nope. the ground. And there's nothing behind it. Hmm.
Hmm. I'll go check out a couple shields down here, I guess, then. All right. Nyx, as you're kind of walking and you, you're, like, hopping to try and, like, reach one of the shields on the wall, because they're up, they're hanging up pretty high. Um, as oh. you're kind of <laughs> jumping up and down, your foot hits something. Uh, and as you look down, you see a, a pair of pants that have been left <laughs> in the sand. Oh, well, that's an odd thing to leave behind. Uh, is there anything on the pants? Any uh, pockets? <laughs> go ahead for me and roll a percentile die as you check the pocket of the pants. Percentile, so just a straight roll 20? D- D100 is what you're going to want. D100. Yeah. Oh, we are doing two loot tables. <gasps> mm. uh, oh, yeah. oh, this is a classic. Whoever owns these pants must have been a bard, because as you dig through the pant pocket, you pull out a written piece of music, a fragment of a beautiful song, uh, written as musical notes on two pieces of parchment. It appears to be like an old, tiny song. So you can, you can add in sheet music times two to your inventory. It doesn't weigh anything, it's paper, but that's what you find in the pant pocket. Interesting. It's a shame you know? he left it behind. You know, if you... Go ahead. Lex, yeah, wants what, what... To, uh, Lex wants to come over. Can Lex look over the shoulder? Like, I assume you're holding it open. Very like, easy to look over Nix's shoulder. You just have to, like, lean <laughs> yeah. forward. Is it in common or? Uh, it's just musical notes. So it's clearly a, some sort of, like, instrumental song of some kind. Ah. Is like, Lex looks at it and goes, I can't read. And just keeps walking, walks <laughs> over here. Uh-huh. He's, only, he's only moving mm. here. If you guys give me just 10 minutes of preparation here. Uh, just if we investigate the room, I'm going to... If you guys give me just 10 minutes, I can do some detect magic. So we can walk around. Okay. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. How about, how about to make me. life simple? You're going to do that. Everybody else roll a perception check for me in this chamber. Okie dokie. Exception. There. Lex got a seven. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's going to be a two. You guys are I a low I did wisdom bad group. Yeah. This is going to be great. Should I roll two or am I yeah. doing the detect magic? Yep, to be fair, two of us had plus four, so. Wait, what, what Monty? Yeah, you're casting this, so go ahead and roll a perception check. Yeah. As you cast Detect Magic, you detect nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I'm going to have this. It's going to be active for 10 more minutes as we walk around, so. Just in case. Okay. Well, shall we head off? Oh, no, wait. Shit. I thought it was a. Is it not a ritual? I thought it was a ritual. Detect Magic, I believe, is a ritual. It is a ritual. It's not marking in, in that thing for some reason, but it, yeah, it is a ritual. It should so, yeah, be a ritual. Is this something that just like continuously goes on, or is this for like no. a one time thing? For it's 10 minutes. One, ritual is you have to take time to cast the spell. So you oh, yeah. Can cast it instantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, ritual. yeah. I meant for the ritual, but I meant like just like, will it be active after he's cast? Like, yes. The, the he has, ritual. It, he okay. has it for 10 minutes as he concentrates on it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Lionel, if you'd like to move, remember as we have ruled it, you guys can move up to your movement as your as Some your character, and thing. you cannot move again until the rest of your players, your fellow allies, have either moved or decided to stay back. So, yep, that is the way we're going to be running movement because this be is going to be all done on a map. And all you right. let me know when the ten. The, let me know when the ten minutes run out. I will. Yeah. So, who wants to take the lead? I guess me. Shields up. Shields up. And you still Shields have the light. I'm commencing movement. So go five. Nope. Just seven, in case something happens to Lex, I'm also going to cast light on, 20, on, one, on one of my... Uh, 25. On my glove. Why not? Am I um, in this position? I assume I can just see down the hallway just fine. Yeah. And as you turn and peek, you see a stone hallway. Uh, it is... You know, very unassuming. There are like old, just burnt down torches that are just unusable that have kind of, they're hanging on sconces yeah. that have been, haven't been touched for eons. But you don't Lex see anything. Was... Yeah. Thanks with uh, 
sword out, look at a motion, everybody going, okay, move up. Yeah, Nyx was already crawling up to you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Spider! Uh, actually, my friend, I might be able to be of assistance. But how's that? Do you know how to carry all the stuff? Uh, I can see the dog with these special eyes. He's gonna do an eyebrow wiggle. If you can just cover, if you can cover the front, but, I can be able to look forward a bit for you. But I got a shiny stick. You got a shiny, mm, shiny stick. Got a shiny stick. It's okay. okay. I'm next to him. him. I, I can see ahead too. I can see in the dark. But I got hmm. a shiny stick. All right shiny. then. Then I'll the stick. And I'll keep an eye on the back then. And he will just like be aware of what's behind them. Okay. Keep an eye behind you, which is always a good idea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With a special eyes. Commencing movements, that's okay. Yeah. I'll absolutely. try my best to always remain between between Lex Five, and Theo. 10, 15, 20. Now just be 25. aware when you are going diagonally, you cannot go through wall spaces. So if your line overlaps with the here. wall, yeah, you're gonna have to go through normally. Also, if it makes things more simple, you can use the uh, arrow tool to like see your movement. Okay. I'll just like count it out so if anyone's watching, they kind of see me go. Look at it. As you turn kind of around this corner, the light hits the west edge of the wall, and you can see the light pooling in to a larger chamber to the north. Lex will kind of stay back a little bit and look over at Nyx. And, and I like, sneak ahead to go perception check. Yeah, Lex is like, do you want to go try it? You want me to just walk up normally and check, or should I roll a stealth? Yeah, go sneak. I'll go sneak. All right, go ahead for me, Nyx, and roll a stealth check. Okay. Nice. Two. I should probably grab dice if we're going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons, huh? <laughs> probably. That might be a good idea. Dice Who needs dice when you have roll 20? This dice is not sponsored by Die Hard Dice. That's... <laughs> yeah, these ones are not. So we're, soft you know, living dice. Yeah, there, yeah, soft life, soft being alive dice. Brought to you in part by being alive. All right. That's a 22. All right, live comfy dice. The safety dice. Okay. All right. Foam for your pleasure. Go ahead, Nixon. You may move your full movement, but I will reveal the space for you. As you turn the quarter, Nix, to the north of your position, you see a terrifying monstrosity up against the wall. An absolutely horrific depiction. Uh, let's see. Room one. What is it? Cthulhu. You see a massive, almost like demon-like creature with these massive horns, a snarling face, kind of like kind of reaching forward. And you kind of jump for a second until you realize that it is a statue. It is not Dad? a real living thing. <laughs> and I will reveal for you this entire room. I'm so used to what do you DMing. see? I'm so used to DMing off of my uh, my main computer that like... The laptop is weird? Yeah, the laptop is real weird. Nix, as you look into this giant chamber, you see how many are there uh oh, it's just from wall to wall east uh north and south of these walls various statues that are carved not like outside of the walls but in the walls themselves these relief statues of what appear to be demons and devils kind of apart from each other snarling at each other some really creepy statues, but otherwise I think it's okay. Oh, hit it with something. See if it does a thing. Go ahead Let me take a and roll a perception check for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May I get close as Nix is doing this? Uh, if you wish to, do you want to stealth as well? Yep. Okay. Stealth. Hey. 16. Okay. Nix, as you're kind of looking side to side, you hear the sounds of Lionel kind of 
kind of wandering up next to you and kind of peering around as well. Uh, you see similarly a thing. Uh, Nyx, you rolled an 18 perception. Yeah. You notice a small form uh, in the middle of the room that's kind of like lying down. It looks like an individual just lying down on their back in the center of the room. They don't appear to be moving. Should we go investigate? Maybe it's a body. Maybe they need help. Someone in the middle of the room? Do I see any magical effects in the in the room? Uh, in this room? Uh, let me just see here. I can get all of these. Increase your object in the area that bears magic. Uh, you do not. You do not detect any magic. Let's approach carefully. Lex. Let's <laughs> Lex. <laughs> if you could be a darling. Lex? What? If you could, uh, you know, approach. Nah. We see we detect no magic, and there's a person in the middle of the room. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Well, I guess in that case, Lex approaches. Okay. As you bring in the light, you now get a better glance of the statues themselves. Uh, anyone who wants to roll a religion check. This is just generally to be how well you're going to identify what these creatures are. Oh, I love me some religion While checks. While you're rolling that religion check, I'm going to wash my hands because I got mustard on them because I'm an adult. No! No! I'm supposed uh -oh. to be good at this. <laughs> okay, show everyone. What's the plan about... What... Hey, where'd you go? He's just going to, like, move up slightly behind Lionel. That does stop distracting me. Trying to think of religions. <laughs> Religion, you say? Hmm. He's gonna sh maneuver on over behind Lex then. I'll ask to see if he can like get a quick glance at it. With the light. Not there, so close. You guys have a better look. Uh let's see. Go ahead there. Uh Thaddeus, go ahead and roll it a religion there and just see how smirt you are. Okie dokie, I keep forgetting I have to do this in roll twenty fuck. Yep. <laughs> uh religion. Religion. Religion! Six. Six. Uh, and then mm. Lionel... Oh, who are we missing? We're missing Lex, if Lex wants to roll a religion check as well. Oh, it was just really bad, but I can I can try. I got a 14. Okay. Uh, Lex and Nyx, which is a great name combination. Uh, these creatures are definitely demons and devils. Uh, specifically, from east to west, uh, the, north, the north wall... East to west, you have a Balor, a Bargura, a girl, a Gura, the, the gorilla looking one, a Chasme, which is like a bug insect like uh, demon, a Dretch, a Glabrezu, a Garistro, and a Hezrau. To the south, from west to east, uh, a Merolith, a Nalfishni, a Quasit, a Shadow Demon, a Vrock, and a Yakhlul. My god, it's a whole list. There's a whole lot of these. These are really high fidelity statues, very well carved and very frightening. Hmm. And as you bring the light Ooh. forward, you notice the body on the ground, as you guys kind of look at it, you notice that its arm is actually up and is pointing at one of the statues. But from this position where you stand, you can't tell which one. Uh, where exactly is the body in the room? Uh, the body in the room is... Sorry, one second. I just gotta read here. Uh... So north and south are demons, and west and east are devils. The north is demons, the west, the south is devils. So the body ah. is right here north at east. the moment. Notably, it has a beak, whatever it is. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Well, I can just move up. Do it. Okay. Five, ten. Be careful about it. Mm -hmm. Let's start moves up, up to here. I'll go behind him. Oh, can we get that close? Oh, no. Oh, actually, that I think behind. Yeah. Oh, and that also, like, hurry up behind? <sighs> really need to give more warning before you move forward like that. This place is gnarly. 
Yes, I can see that. And speaking of, like, since it's like there's 60 feet of dark vision, could uh, could me and Nick see past beyond this point? Or yes, is there just like give me just a, a quick wall? second. I just have to read something really, really quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's that part that says, all the carvings come to life. <laughs> well, oh, see you guys. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye -bye. I'm running. Bye-bye. I have expeditious retreats. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sorry, this is the one thing about pre-made events. You gotta give your DM time to read certain Yeah, things. no worries. Yeah. He said there's no rush here. Trust me. Because of one, some of those don't have actually certain details, or they have a detail after the after the the box with the formation for some reason. It's like why? Well, I, I'm at a turn page too, which doesn't help. So I just turned the page, and there was more like more stuff, and I was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. All right. As you guys approach, the corpse appears to be that of a Kenku who has died. Um, and they are currently pointing their finger at the pig-like Nalfishne statue Nalfishne. that is currently up against the wall. That's the one in the north? Uh, that one is to the south. South. Yeah. It is the second from the south. And I'm going to reveal more... Uh, what's your dark vision? People who have dark vision at 60 feet, I'm imagining. Uh, yeah, 60 uh, feet for me. Yep, 60. So you guys can see about here. I'm just going to give you guys Ooh. that. Idea. Oh, there are stairs! The stairs leading down to the west. The weast. The weast. The weast. Can I go and investigate the statue that uh, he was pointing to? Absolutely. And I'll investigate the body. Okay, where is the statue over here? Uh, it's one down, one little square down. That's where the statue is. It's a fairly sizable statue. It seems to be life size, but maybe slightly smaller. Uh. Uh, as you look around, go ahead for me and roll an investigation check for me. Oh, not great. That's fine. That actually is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry. This section is a lot of words because there's so many... No worries. It's, it's, it's going to it's be... The, here's where the puzzles start and all that stuff. And all the, the brain thinking. As you kind of look around and climb up the statue, you kind of like look around and Nick says, you kind of climb up, your foot slips and you hit kind of the tusk face and you hear a clicking noise as a door <clears throat> swings open as you have discovered a secret door. Ooh. 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 Secrets. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dead Kenku dad, dude. <laughs> Guys, guys, over here. Uh -huh. May I investigate the Kenku? Uh, yeah, absolutely. As you investigate the Kenku, uh, he literally is just wearing tattered goods. And you even notice as you go to check him out that his pockets have been flipped inside out. So whoever oh. got here first probably took whatever he had, unfortunately. Someone uh, already done did it. Down there. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Let's go. Hmm. Well, go to go down there or go down those stairs. I mean, secret passage. We have to check it out. This right. is where that bird fellow was pointing at, right? Yeah. Say, so, so I'm gonna go inside then first. If you guys are ready. Yeah. Very well. Keep that shield up. Yeah. Shields up, and Lex enters inside, and it kind of stops right there near the entrance. Okay. I'm gonna. Maneuver. Here we go. 
Notably, as you guys, notably as you guys enter, the tunnel itself slopes down. Like, it actually is unhewn. It just generally slopes down. It seems to be naturally occurring and a little bit treacherous. And there's definitely an odor in this space, like kind of like a mildewy smell. Mildewy? Mm-hmm. Mildew. Is there anything that Lex can do to uh, potentially identify the smell in any way? Um, well, a general perception check, maybe. Sure thing. Twelve, Lex got okay. a 12. As you kind of smell, it smells like possibly like a sewer leak. Like some sort of leaking water supply that has gone a bit mm. foul. Okay. Okay. It's like, it smells, it smells like the sewer is leaking in through here, so be careful. Oh, it smells like, just like home. It's certainly good we brought the ship then. Let's move his full movement this way. Wait for everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I can Emerged. stand here, so. Alright. The mildewy smell and the descent continues, but you do not say anything else. Yeah. Lex will move we just... up e even more. Keep moving until you, until you hit something, I guess. <laughs> Lex has moved up to here. You now see a chamber, and you can see... Do you remember, like, old PS2 water graphics of gross water? Ew. There's, like, Ooh. a film on the top of, uh, of this sort of water chamber. Notably, you also see a bit of a glow. Not from the water itself, but mm -hmm. seemingly from the west of the water. And next, crawl underneath Lux's legs to go like up ahead and like scope it out. Absolutely. <laughs> As you look to the west position, the right, uh, the eastern position is just a flat wall. Um, you kind of lean forward, kind of avoiding the water, which is very tepid and very gross. Uh, you do see like the what you can only surmise. I'm just going to reveal the whole area just for the sake of ease. Oh. You see a very large statue. Seems to be a theme here. But you see a like an arm from your position. You just see like a big kind of clawed arm and not really much else from your your position currently. Uh so Monday, uh, there's there's a thing. I, I I didn't investigate the body just to look for loot. I I was curious what killed him. The state of his body, it's impossible to tell. Like, it's such an okay. old skeleton that you're like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Guys, there's some gross water, but there's also a, a statue over here. Gross water? water? Ugh. Come on, Theo, I thought you were not a, a stuck-up fancy boy. Well, yes, there's, the, there's such thing as getting your hands dirty, but that is literal filth. It's part of the adventure no. life. Okay. Do you don't you want to prove those guys up there that you are more than just a fancy boy? Well, I certainly do, but I don't want to catch twenty diseases. Oh come on, you'll be fine. Do you really want to go up there and not no, look like you actually got dirty? Hmm. He's gonna progress further and actually go ahead. Okay. Now. Fine. Fine. Places with you. As your so feet, if you want to change places with me, as your feet hit the water, are you wearing like a robe or are you wearing like pants? Uh, like wearing pants. He has boots and pants. You feel the cold water rush into your boots, and as it hits the cuff of your pants, you know, like when water seeps up fabric, you kind of feel it rise up almost a quarter of the way to your knee in this cold, Whoa. very unpleasant fashion. The smell here <laughs> is very, very aggressive and very oh, unpleasant. Shit. No way, hold on. Where how far does the water go to his knees? Um it's enough that uh like for you, Lionel, it's probably gonna go up like kind of slightly under the waist. <laughs> uh Nyx might want to go on someone's shoulders. 
or she might need a you know good thing you brought soap more or less well we are we almost the same yes absolutely anybody want to give me a ride (laughs) up on my shoulders then okay now what exactly are we looking for we're just gonna go check out the statue yeah, let's take a look at it. Lex will wait. All right, Lex, you're going to wait in the tunnel? Yep. All right. Before he goes any further, Theo, like Thaddeus, wants to use Mage Hand to interact with the giant statue. See if he can feel around for anything. Okay. Uh, as you reach out, your Mage Hand kind of floats out. You kind of feel around the giant statue, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, from your position here, like, you can, you can just see the hand. <laughs> That's all you can see. You kind of like high five the hand. To get a better analysis, you're going to have to enter the chamber and really get messy, unfortunately. (sighs) Well, time to prove them wrong. And he's going to step forward just a bit to get a better view. Okay. As you look (laughs) up at the statue, you see a statue of a giant Sahagin. Ah! That's, hmm. Fishman? It... Uh, Sahagan being a, yeah, a walking, talking fish person, um, with kind of like this gnarly maw of shark-like teeth. Uh, notably the head is like, like, it looks like wrong, like it's like facing sideways. Um, and notably the statue itself is glowing. Like it has this purple, almost like radioactive-esque kind of ambient glow to it. Is my detect magic still up? From where your your position is, you have to go through a wall, so you'd also have to enter the chamber to detect it. Mm, boop. All right, it is conjuration magic. It's very faint. It's not that strong, uh, but it is mm. some some manner of conjuration magic. Somewhat, so we're dealing with a conjuration magic. Somewhat similar to the current light spell that is on Lex's uh, was a torch at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, it definitely seems like a good thing. I'm not touching this directly. No, He's no, gonna please. like continue. Notably, the Sorry. other arm is actually up against the wall, um, on this side. Like it's like it looks like it fell off, and it's just kind of like propped against the the wall with the water. Um, and the other arm, which you guys saw closer to you, is like still up uh, as well. But the head, yeah, the head looks kind of weird. Kind of weird. Uh, what the way? It looks yeah. like you know, like a doll when you like turn a doll's head a wrong direction. Yeah. It looks weird. Same similar thing, but it's a statue, so it's kind of specifically very to odd. Mess with that. It's a good thing I'm not touching this with my hands. He's gonna continue his search. Like, are there any specific points where the magic seems to be like glowing this, like more or like again any secret? No, it's poss- it's, it's just generally around the statue itself. Hey, Unfortunately. Unfortunately, from this position, in order to inspect it, you'd have to get close to it. Um, <sighs> Mage, Mage no. Hand isn't explorative. It doesn't relay information to you. If mm-hmm. not, if it did, it would be an extremely powerful spell. It is meant to, you know, you can use, you can switch a lever, you can pick up an object from a distance, things like that. So, unfortunately. Gotcha. Yeah. Just, uh, just for clarification on that spell. Uh, did you say something, Nix? Oh, I was going to say you should try and turn his head with your mage hand. Uh, that sadly can't be done. I have to do that myself. It is. A, oh. it, is it appears to be made of stone. It appears to be very heavy and it definitely exceeds the 10 pounds, I would say. Well, we should get closer to investigate then. That sounds like an idea. He's going to wade through very close, this close. Okay, well, I'm attached to you, so. Come on in, Le- come yeah. on in Lex. Lex is only going to get up to the edge here and be like, Lex? I need uh, Thaddeus to make a intelligence saving throw for me real fast. To just the statue. Oh boy. Okie dokie. I keep forgetting to do the thing. Okay. Intelligence. <gasps> oh! That's a natural tool. Very, very nice. The first one of the game. Thaddeus, as hey. you approach the statue, you feel like you ever hear, like, when you turn on a TV, there's, like, that ringing tinnitus sound? Yeah. You hear kind of, like, a, kind of this ringing little noise. You get a little bit slight of a headache. But, let's see. Uh, you succeed, which means you only take half damage from this. Ooh. 
Statue's haunted. As seeping out from the water, climbing and crawling up this Sahagan statue is a gray ooze. And I need everybody oh. to roll initiative. Ah. Yes! Yeah. First, I'm going to roll the damage for you, though, Thaddeus. Okay. Unfortunately, in my normal games, a natural 20 would get you, like, no damage, but we're, we're not doing this this way. We're going to do it differently, so you are going to take half damage from this. Wow, we'll we do are... It, yeah. We suck in initiative. <laughs> Oh, uh, how do you roll initiative on the uh, sheet, by the way? It is on your character sheet. It'll be uh, near the top, next to like right underneath the like the you know your your race class thing on the first page. Well, so yeah, I see that, but it's not let me roll it. I think. Just click it. Oh, initiative. Okay, initiative. click it. Okay. Uh, Thaddeus, you take seven points of psychic damage. Ah! Halving As... that, or that's half. That's half. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it would have been 14. It would have been 14 damage Ooh. without the save. And that's only because he touched the thing, right? Uh, it's because he approached. Anyone who approaches... He's... Oh, he's nixing his shoulders. Uh, Thaddeus is the bigger target. No offense, gotcha. Thaddeus. Plus, physically, you it's, are closer. Oh, your bubble butt helped her. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is so mean to me. <laughs> Everyone is so mean to me. Alrighty, what do we have for initiative? Really bad. Oh, no. Very bad. <laughs> oh, dear. We're not uh, ready. <laughs> all right. We have Thaddeus. All up first. We and have, the fighter no, is I'm, I'm writing down the initiative order for you guys right now. We have Lex, who smells amazing compared to everyone. Mm -hmm. Lionel. And we have, that is a sad initiative for a rogue. Uh, you know, it, it makes, also makes sense for Lex because he's all the way over there. Doesn't want to get in. Come on, Lex. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, that's good. Good He's for you or us. faster than us. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Woo! Mm. Here is your ooze. Oh, yes. The ooze. the ooze. You can see it now kind of crawling like a slug going up uh, the side of the statue here. In fact, I will probably move it to reflect that a little bit better. Did we establish what level are we, by the way? You guys are level five. Oh, uh, we're level five. Level five. No, I mean for the for the for the people watching. Oh yeah, you're level five. Thumbs level up. Five. Yay. Thaddeus, you as you kind of shake your ringing head, you kind of see this goopy thing kind of crawling up the side of the statue. Uh, it is now your turn. Ah, this is what I meant by getting too filthy. He's gonna back up a bit with Nyx on his shoulders. And he is going oh. to fire off a... Fi He's going to twin a firebolt at this okay. thing. All right. He's going to roll for initial damage. I'm okay. just going to double it again. check something about twin spells here real fast. Uh, Like, hold on. I can actually put it in the chat, right? You can, yes. Uh, okay. Also, you cannot cast uh, twin cantrips, by the way. It has to be a spell, not a cantrip. Um, It says here, like... You can send sorcery points equal to a spell's level 1 for a cantrip to target a second creature in range with the same spell. Oh, okay, so it's like... Uh, hmm. I'm reading here that, no, twin spell only affects spells that target one and only one creature. The spell doesn't affect creatures... Uh, let me just see here. Oh, okay, yeah, fireball could technically be like fired at multiple people, right? Just on itself. No, it just means you have to cast it to attack another creature. Let, so... me, let me confirm oh, this okay. first. Yeah. May I right. use the restroom in the meantime? Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is why we're doing this. We're going to learn more rules. Uh, this is not what I want. I'm just going to confirm it. I'm finding weird irregular answers for this right now. Uh, for the use of a cantrip, you mean, or? Yeah. It okay. It's, so it can be a cantrip. Right. Yeah. It just has yeah. to be single target. So yes, you can you can twin firebolt. You can't right. twin something like uh, 
ice down yeah, yeah. or anything like that. Oh yeah, we we, we yeah we went over yeah. that. But All right, I was just yeah, go ahead. Twin cantrip spell, oh. go for it. All right, I'm just gonna roll for the initial hill attack. Fourteen, that hits. Fourteen. All right, and just roll for the other attack, or just like should I do damage first? Uh, do damage. You want to click oh. firebolt in the chat box. Also, this thing is not firebolt? getting cover because it is encapsulating the space of the. Uh, all right. Three. three Good three heights. You all right, and I'm twin. Chuck out the first firebolt, and it splats. Like, there's a spray of goop that sprays across the back of this chamber. Go ahead and throw your second firebolt out with your twin spell. Ugh. Time to... Ugh. Ugh. Annoying. Eight. Ah. Just hits. Oh, oh yeah. Well, okay. It is an Sweet. ooze. Oozes are notoriously low AC, so... Boo. Boo. We are oh. so much better. <laughs> Boo and I are so used to like AC twenty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are like level yeah. bajillion. So all right, second shot. Very nice. That was a level. That was a level five, Monty. Oh well. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No. Nah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So getting frustrated that uh, getting frustrated that Notably, he's fucking missed. You oh, hit. Oh. You hit both. So both hit. Uh, mm -hmm. As you boom, boom, throw out both fireballs. There's a <laughs> splashing noise. Notably, as this thing kind of reforms itself, there's like a sizzling noise, and it seems that you did damage to it. But unlike other things you've set ablaze, it seems to be mildly resistant to the fire damage. It does seem Ooh. to be having some mm. of a resistance to it. Ah, you annoying little ooze. That is your action. And he is going to like use the rest of his movement to go... Hold on. The, the, the Xbox is lit. He's going to go back over here. All right. Now remember, you already moved. Oh, I like I still have like a couple feet of movement, so. Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're totally fine. Yeah. And Nix goes with you because Nix is on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lex, it is now yeah, your turn. You watch as Thaddeus kind of is like you see like, I don't know where you're looking right now, but you just see two like almost like fireworks like boom, boom, go off, and then you see Thaddeus with Nix on his shoulder just run past the chamber that's open. Statue's yeah. haunted. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Wait, wait, what are you sure? Statue's at? haunted. What do you mean, I'm, statue's I'm, haunted? I don't think it's the ha statue. I think it's something else. We have an. Oh, well, it's very diseased. That's what it is. Okay. Well, Lex is like, oh man. He like jumps into the water and it <laughs> and sees the ooze and go, ah! and then immediately charges at it. Okay. <laughs> and I, I assume it's at the base here because it's encompassing the statue, correct? Yeah, I'll allow it. It's it's okay. like kind of seeping down over the statue. You. Yeah, I, I didn't know how big you wanted it. And he's just going to whack it. All right. Go ahead and whack away. Uh, he's going to have, yeah, he's going to one hand sword. Wham! 14. That hits. Dealing seven slashing damage. He's just chopping into it. And, it's whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and it's, like, it's like, I need something to weaken this thing. I don't know what's, I don't All know what right. its resistance or anything are. As you slice down with your sword and you lift it back up, you hear like a hissing noise. And as you look at your sword, you see like kind of like steam coming <gasps> off of it as your weapon takes a minus one penalty to it. Oh, no! <laughs> Can I take a bonus action to uh, dunk it into the water as quick as I can? Sure, yeah. You kind of you put it in the water and lift it up. There is now potholes in it. It looks chewed up. Uh, unfortunately, after dealing damage, your weapon takes a permanent, uh, permanent minus one penalty to damage rolls. Oh, that thing Excellent. is cor corrosive. It is a very corrosive ooze. Okay, my turn is over. All right, that brings us around to Lionel. It's now your turn. Oh, boy, I am so glad I have a you know, metal to, to use against it. So you say this I now. See, you say this I, now. I see I see good old Theo failing miserably with his fire. So I'm gonna use Oh it was the, a success. I, I'm gonna use what actually works here. And I'm gonna shoot it a with a with a ray of frost. Okay. I'm jabam. That was my second plan. Uh does this require a saving throw? Well, and no, it's a, it's a attack roll, so 12 to hit. 12 hits. Pop. 
doing eight points of cold damage. You're like, and... you see the fire not working, you kind of crack your knuckles, and you're like, <laughs> watch this. You boom, fling out, and this ray of frost just sprays across, and you watch as this kind of little tendril pseudopod comes off, plucks off the little frozen bit, and chucks it away. It is also resistant to cold damage. Shit. <laughs> I showed you. Is it still slow, though? Uh... uh... The the Ray, of Frost, Ray of Frost takes 10 feet of movement from the creature yeah, that hits. it will be slowed. So it's whatever it is, but it's 10 feet of movement. <laughs> I, I feel so smart, like, ha, fire. Ha, I watch this, answer. gamers, and then immediately. And just, <laughs> <clears throat> nothing happened. All right, does that end your turn, Lionel? I am going to, I am going to move, though. I don't want to leave Lex by his lone soon. So I'm, uh... I am going to just get a little closer. Alrighty. That brings us to Nyx. It is now your turn. You've kind of been going on a bit of a wild pony ride on the back of your half-orc companion <laughs> Wee! here. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Does it um, count as Lux being within five feet of it or no? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. I will uh, shoot at it with my short bow. Alright, you pull out your short bow. You kind of like um like i imagine you're like sitting like with your legs around each shoulder and you kind of like <laughs> aim like use thaddeus's head as like kind of an aiming anchor and <laughs> go ahead and roll to hit nice Damn. That hey. hits. and that sneak attack as well <laughs> that sneak attack sneak attack damage yeah one second uh whoops i will roll that three three times Oof, seven, that's 12, that's 22, 22 points of damage. As you kind of aim your shot and you let loose the bolt, uh, Lex, as you watch this thing raise up a pseudopod to slam down against you, you watch as an arrow just crashes into this thing's body and like a bug hitting a car window, it just sprays across the back of the wall and just <laughs> drips as it is slain. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm guessing I don't get the arrow back now. Oh no! As you're like, oh my yeah. arrow! You hear a <laughs> as you watch the arrow like like uh, like just sink into like the remains of its body and just like disappear. Well, that was fun. It most Ooh. certainly was not. How does the statue look? By the way, is he still like glowing with yep. uh, magical? It is still glowing magically, unfazed by the sudden combat around it. Hmm. Lex okay. will, uh, sorry, I'm actually reading a thing. Was Not Lex affected mind. by approaching the statue? Nope. That was weird. Okay. That psychic damage, you're like kind of cautious, but it doesn't seem to happen again. It was very weird. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to approach alongside Lex. Okay. He would look at, uh, He'll look at Lionel and he'll look at his sword and look at him going like, do you have anything for this? Um, I, uh, let me see. I once heard, I once heard of spellcasters who were able to help repair things like this. Uh, yeah, there, there's, there's such a thing as amending stuff. I don't have that though. Oh. Maybe a fancy boy over there may have it. Nope, I, I certainly do not. Lex will right, look at useless. both of you with such extreme disappointment and sadness, but you can't see it in his face. He's still smiling, but you feel that his eyes darken a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so happy. You, know, you look at his hey, sword. Hey, I'm sure we can find a new sword down here. But it's my family I mean, sword. Well, you still have the brick? Yeah, I still have my brick. We'll try to fix anyway. that when we, wait, when we make our way back. Did we find anything? Uh, there is the statue that is still glowing. I'm gonna oh, mess sorry. with the hair. That was a roleplay question. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's the, I'll, I'll, I'm letting them search and do. All I'm, that. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with the statue's head. All right, you. Claw that is just gonna hang back up. You like sorry. you really have to push this thing. Notably, it looks like someone had already tried to mess with it before. <laughs> and as you <laughs> unscrew it, it like kind of falls off. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> 
you, you see on the inside, it like psh, into the water. You see on the inside uh, is just melted wax. It looks like kind of like a jack o' lantern style thing. What? Wax? What did you find over there? Wax? Is it gone? Oh. Hmm. No ghosts? No ghosts, no money, no nothing. Mm. I'm gonna. To I'm gonna. You know what? Uh. <laughs> uh, Cardwell. I look at my whistle. Uh. Touch the wax just a little bit. All right, your little weasel kind of like scrambles up and like goes and like, you know when like otters like try and bury something like they kind of do the pat mm -hmm. pat 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 pat. You watch him do that and like nothing happens. It's just hardened, once melted wax. Hmm. Is there something underneath the wax? Is him radiating any magical effect or something? The wax itself? No. The statue itself just has this little kind of spooky ethereal glow. What in the nightness of hells? All the statues on the outside kind of give a thumbs up because they're all demons and devils. <laughs> oh, oh, they're with me. Nice. Uh, is it a few? Like, is it like a something like like a candle? Is it like a something sticking out of it? There's probably like you see like there's a little spike part where they you probably set a candle. You put the head on top and you light the candle and like the eyes would glow because you notice that the eyes. Uh, I would say Lex is your kind of hollow. statue. They're hollow. Yeah. was disappointing let's see where uh, we can go now i am actually curious though if this is an entire contraption and it was messed with do i have any candles with me <laughs> Small i have candles do you want to give it a shot i'll hand you a candle i'll pick it up with with a what uh with a uh, my chance and you place the candle in you light it you put the head back on with some assistance <laughs> It's very scary, but nothing whoa. happens. It's just really frightening. It's like, whoa, okay. okay. I made this place more horrifying. That's, that's, that's a win in my book. Can, can I have my candle back now? Okay, I'm going to screw it again. <laughs> oh, I'll screw it again. Drop oh, it to the side. Making sure that the head falls where the water is and just splashes the, the, the over there. And then hey. pick, the, pick the candle. Put it, put it down and give it to, back to Nyx. Considering all this, all this trouble, there has to be something more than this, right? Maybe pastas. Wait, hold on. The the hand, the arm was also missing, correct? Yeah, the arms to the yes. uh, to the west wall. It looks like it just fell off and probably was like pushed aside. No. Ah. May I make a final investigation check just to see if I'm missing anything that char character wise will make sense? Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Twenty. Soft twenty. Maybe if there was something valuable here, someone might have taken it. The, the, clearly, someone was here before you because the head was moved yeah. already. But one thing note to note of this room: there is water here. It's not clean water, but it is mm -hmm. water. Um, if purified, it could be drinkable. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we have no droids to purify water. But as you look no. around, that's kind of it. There's nothing else I mean, really here. We could boil mm. the water, but I mean, does anybody have any empty flask they want to carry? I have, I have a bucket. Saddened, saddened, Lex is leaving the room. <laughs> <laughs> all we got, I went to this room and all I got was my sword got destroyed. Uh, I got burned. You got psychic class. You got a, you got a really bad headache. I got burned in my mind, and I wish nothing to do with this anymore. Come I'll on, pick up, I'll pick up some of the puke water with the bucket. Okay, you pick up uh, some of the water with the bucket. So you now have uh, will... a bucket of gross water. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. That will da, require da, da, one da, da, hand da, da. to carry it, though, if you're going to be carrying uh, it. I have, a, I have a free hand. I, I'm All a caster. Right. There you go. You got a free hand. You got a bucket of gross water. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I had free. You must keep that thing away from me. Ooh, we start splashing a little bit. Ah! I'll hop off of your shoulders now. And as 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 soon as we get out of the 
the mug the mug water. I'm going to use prestidigitation to start cleaning my my trousers. All right, you guys kind of kind of that is a good idea. Boots. You guys take out your soap and kind of wipe it in places <laughs> where the prestidigitation <laughs> doesn't quite get the job done. Uh, for the sake of everything, would everybody please move their tokens back into the original chamber with the statues? Yeah. Just for the sake of you. Sure thing. All right. You guys return <laughs> to this chamber filled with its various statues. Silly statues. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> well, these statues aren't going to get my stairs. All right. Nyx begins to head down the western stairs. I will Coming along this chamber for you. I think. So give me one second before you guys move too far forward. You guys are going to see that yeah. that bucket of piss water is going to save our lives. I highly doubt it. You, you if, get an eye infection to a beholder. If worse comes to worse, you're going to have to drink this. Lex has done worse. <laughs> He's covered wars, you know. Oh it's God. covered wars. <laughs> uh, as you guys enter into this chamber, you see various pillars. Uh, of note, one of the pillars, the... Uh, the northmost pillar right here, and you can see it, Nyx. I'll point it out here. Coiling up about half the top half of it is the bones of a snake. Mm-hmm. Oh, like shit. a big snake or like? <laughs> oh wait, these are, these are pillars, right? Yeah, it's a bunch of pillars here. Wait, remembering, remembering, beyond the pillar forest, the mad mage waits, casting spells behind magic gates. Hmm. Well, it's certainly looking pillarly enough. But where's the gate? Yeah, but there are there are three ways from what I can see over here. North is also a staircase. Uh, north is a staircase going up. Yes, as well. Gotcha. I'll reveal that as well. Sorry, I just I'm reading here. No worries. And sorry, I'm facing away from the mic because my control setup is uh, unfortunately is also. Oh, good. Um. The bigger the room, the more information, even though sometimes it's just like, it has this. <laughs> so we have three ways. There's a bunch of pillars, and one of the pillars has a, a bony snake coiling around it. Yes, yeah. that is the it's northmost one. Northmost one. Okay, so I don't see anything else in this room besides the snake. That is all you see. Okay, I'm going to creep forward a little bit. You sure about- oh, okay. Alright, you enter inside. Immediately, Nyx, as you kind of step inside, you notice that there is words scrawled uh, on the southeast wall. So, right about here, you see some words that have been scrawled there. There's a boot down with Nyx. Or actually, sorry, uh, here, I apologize, southeastern wall. So this part right here, you see scribed. Is it not this one? Uh, oh, god damn it, I don't have directionals. No (laughs) one look at me! Uh, No one look at me! (laughs) Right here, yeah, you are correct, southeastern. Point! (laughs) Do not point and mock me! Point and mock. Uh, <laughs> Point. Uh, Monty doesn't know how to say we. Stop, Manthar. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I'll be right back real quick. But I can still hear. No worries. Uh, next, do you want to approach the writing on the wall? Yeah. There is an arrow that points to that southern chamber, and it reads, Certain death this way. Oh. Guys, I don't think we should go this way. Now, hold on. How is that written? Inside the writing. <laughs> is, it, is it like carved on the wall or someone painted it or someone like wrote it with ink? Uh, it is carved into the wall. And carved is, into the wall. Yeah, it's carved into the wall. And it has, there's an arrow pointing as well. Hmm. Let's see. Room with pillars. Sorry, I'm making my notes. No worries. 
south sign. Mm. Certain death this way? To the south. What was the yeah. sign? Certain death this way is what it says. Oh man, is that an invitation or a warning? Uh, I'd rather take it as a warning to start with. Hmm. Are there any other signs around the room? Nope, just that. Hmm. So that would Guys, mean... do you mind me going to check out the... I would prefer you not going to the room that says certain death. Not, not that... Gosh, no, I'm, I meant over to the west. I was going to look down that Next passage. As an objection. Hmm? You know what what happened with that sign? People who put certain death means there's loot down there, and they don't want us to go after it, and they're coming back later. You that say that. highly seems likely. No, uh, yeah, you know, it's competition. We're the competition. We need to get their loot. I vote that way. Thaddeus is going to look over at the dead body beyond the stairs. I think that might have been left behind by them. I There are so many people who come down here, though. You know what? May I check? May I do a check around the sign to see if there are any spots of dried blood? Or... Uh, sure. And what's I'll roll an investigation check for me if you look around the sign. An investigation. Investigation. That's to be very high, though. No. Yeah, no. Unfortunately not. You kind of look around and you just see stone. You see, you know, dust. A little bit of sand. Like, it's not consistent as the entranceway was, but there's just a little bit of sand that seems to have been dragged over here somehow. <laughs> hmm. You know, I like your logic, but at the same time, don't really want to risk that. I'm going to go perception this path. You have 60 feet of vision there, Nyx. <laughs> oh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Can you hold it all the way down to 60 for me? Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Let's see. I just wanted to point out to the logic of we went down into a super, you no know, evil giant dungeon place that a guy just conveniently lives on top of and we never see anyone come back. Uh huh. We're already in danger. Might as well be in super danger. You, as you I would down, prefer not to. Nix, as you look down the western tunnel, uh, you see, you can't really see too much, but the tunnel seems to have a bunch of niches that are carved into the north and south walls. I go up here, can I see what's in the niches? Uh, as you peek around the corner, you see you looking back at you. Uh, mirrors. <laughs> oh, that's not ominous at all. Guys, um, there's a bunch of mirrors. Mirrors reflecting in darkness? Well, yeah, there's ambient light from the light spell. All right. Yeah. Mm. Now, hold that thought for a moment. He, Thaddeus, is going to go over here and use his dark vision to look up whatever this corridor is. Okay. I'm just going to get in the middle of the room. I don't like being too far to the other side. You know what? I could do something I always, I was always curious about. But I'll let, I'll let, let, let Thaddeus do his thing first. Hmm. Give me one second. I'll adjust the camera here. And hopefully we'll be able to stop first. Thaddeus, as you look yep. up, you see a hallway to the north. This seems to be a more open hallway. He's going to go around the corner to see if there's anything nearby. Like, in this direction. If it's, see if it's just an open room. Okay, that is a wall. Ah, that's a wall. Yeah, anything that's black is essentially a wall. Or if it has, like, the striping kind of hatching, it is a wall as well. Yeah, it's a bit hard to tell because of, like, the, the reason, uh, fog the, of war and stuff. The reason why I'm hiding so. it is because of secret chambers and stuff like that. So I'm keeping close to the sides so that way that mm -hmm. way you guys can't tell if things are... Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, this one has a significantly less amount of mirrors, if that helps anything. You know what? I'm going to do something dumb. And I'm going to give like a... Is it like a pebble or any residue of st uh, stuff on the ground? Sorry? Could you repeat? Yeah. I, I is it like a pebble or something on the ground? No, not here. It's human uh, stone, I... unfortunately. 
Let's see. I just need the I need something I need something very small. Mm. Lex will look at you and then he'll look at his family brick. <laughs> Say no. I... And then he'll just hand you one of his uh, batons and be like, here, just throw one of these. What is this? It's like a little meal thing. Okay. I'm going to give that to to little <laughs> to little Caldwell. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Uh, hold it. I'm going to cast light on it. And I'm going to send Codwell down the south corridor. Okay. As Codwell kind of carrying... It's kind of like a cute little waddle as he carries down yeah. the southern chamber. And I am going to hold on to Lex's leg and, and you say, hold me. And oh. I'm going to I'm gonna change my vision to see what Codwell is saying. How far do you want him to go? Uh, let's start by going 30 feet. 30 feet? Very well. And I can see what he's look what he's seeing now. I'll give you a little extra. You see a big corridor. The light does go... How far does the light go? I'll just reveal this for you to make life easier. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. 20 feet. Oh. You go, Codwell. You go. He just goes and goes and goes. This corridor is about almost a hundred feet, a hundred and twenty-five feet long. As you just see your, you see your little weasel just disappear with a little light after a while. What the? Oh, fuck? I'm looking through his eyes. You are. It is yeah. just stone. You just see a stone like hallway that leads down. Well, are we going mirrors or are we going north? North, south, east, or west, we have tattoos on our chest, except for Larry. <laughs> I'm going to bring Codwell back, just let everyone know. So there's a long ass corridor down south. The corridor I return, adventure. I return Lex, he's now uh, food <laughs> that is, you know, bright. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you watch as your weasel's like blinking, like, uh. here you go. Thank you. I am curious about the mirrors, but also what's up with the snake? Like, we need to think about that people already went through this place, too. Indeed. Although the mirrors do seem a bit more mysterious. They catch my attention, that's for sure. Can I approach the mirrors and roll an investigation check? Sure, absolutely. You will have to be right in front of them. Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Okay. Sorry, one second. Mm-hmm. Do I waste some saving throw? No! Yeah, do an intelligence saving throw for me. For me? No, I'm just joking. That was a joke. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Don't scare me. I, I stopped drinking water when I heard uh, you say that. As you, as you investigate it, they are oval mirrors. They are set in a very heavy stone frame. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's that's it, really. You kind of touch them. It's you know, kind of cold to the touch. I've concluded that they are, in fact, mirrors. God, I'm. God damn it. The, the more I think about the mirrors, the more I'm curious about the whole. You, I, I hate you so much, Lex, right now. You made me think of the whole. Yeah, why would people go down, their, down the side that says certain death? Uh, hey, logic still sound to Lex. If you were a bunch of dwarves who stole a throne. Hey, hmm. look, that's not our main mission. If we want to come back and go down certain death path. Later, that is like... I mean, we certainly have a bunch of options. So, considering what we dealt with last time, then I'd say let's just go for the safest option now. Do the mysterious mirrors sound like the safest option? It seems the most interesting, but there could be a catch. You know what? That sounds like a good story. Let's go down the mirror, yeah. down the mirror hallway. 
Okay. Well, Lex's logic is that if he sees a sign saying, please go around, the, the sign ain't, isn't, isn't a cop. Like, Lex is, Lex is have to follow those signs. <laughs> the sign, is the not sign a cop. isn't a cop. I'm not a party. Yeah, but, but Lex, 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 yeah, Lex will help out with the mirrors. <laughs> and uh, get in front of him with the mirrors, shields up, and just kind of just carefully going through. Will my, will my detect magic still be up? I don't think so. It is. Uh, at this point, I would say it's probably... Actually, I'll, g I'll give it its... Oh, let's see how A last it. check. <laughs> From where you are right now, I will give you one last little... How far is it? 30 feet? Uh, detect magic? Yeah, it's 30 feet. Detector of magical. Uh, yeah, 30 feet. As you guys proceed down, you do detect some magic right here. Illusionary magic. Oh, here? Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, there's an illusion over there. Huh? Where? Third, third mirror north. I mean that there's something hidden behind it. Yeah, and as you as you're like, oh, you watch and you feel as your as your detect magic spell fizzles out, and you're like, ah, oh, there it goes. Next, we'll hop up to here. Okay, you Mirror. hop up to there. As we were like, so this one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, he'll take out his family brick. Okay. <laughs> <He'll> kiss. <laughs> Are you going to lose all your family heirlooms? He'll take a rope. <laughs> And put it through one of the holes so the brick can tie it. And he'll gently kind of <laughs> into the corner. You're going to throw it? And like, like over there to the corner, like whoop. Yeah, All right. like that. You throw the brick and you watch as it goes through the glass. It doesn't break it, it just goes through. And you hear a th -th 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 and then like a sound of metal, like a gonging metal noise and like a clattering sound. And like there's a moment of silence, awkward silence. As your brick has possibly come to rest. <gasps> so did it sound like it road. fell down something, or did it like? It sounds roll? like it it hit something metal, and then a bunch of things probably fell. No. Nope. What? Hey, somebody peeked their head in. Uh, you know what? I'm I that piqued my curiosity, so I'm gonna peek my head in. All right, as you. Push your head in through the mirror. It is an illusion. Oh. Uh, and as you look inside, you see what looks to be like a small, like almost like a bathroom cabinet style shelf. Uh, okay. And you see, uh, <laughs> you see Lex's brick currently sitting uh, like half slanted off of a shelf and like fallen over is this kind of brown, uh, what is it made out of? Uh, is a bronze like bull lumpy piece of metal. Uh, do you touch it? Do you pick it up? Bronze lumping piece of metal? Yeah. What the hell is this? And I pick it up. As you pick it up and you lift it to face yourself, you see staring back at you an old, wizened, bearded face. It appears to be like a bronze face. Is it like a painting, a carving, or a it looks reflection? Like a, it looks like a casted face, like bronze. Um, similar to, this is a reference, Similar to uh, Mistbeard, but mine is like the rest of the helmet. It's just the face. Remember Mistbeard's helmet? Is my brick helmet? okay? Yeah, your mm -hmm. brick's fine. It just, oh. it, as you look at the brick, you notice that it broke one of the shelves. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to role play uh, yell across so he could answer. Go, is my brick okay? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm sad to say so, Lex, but he didn't make it. But, brick, <laughs> and he starts and, and pulling the rope back. And, no matter what, I'm, I'm gonna use my mage hand to pull his rope, like the like the uh, like the brick is pulling it back. No, no, brick. Sorry, like Lex starts, like takes out a sword. Going, whoever's holding, whoever's stopping brick is gonna die, and just starts charging it. <laughs> <laughs> well, be careful. Your brick closet. might be hard to know. Charging oh, to the closet. <laughs> Brick will be the final villain of this game. Mark my goddamn words. <laughs> he gets his brick back like, ah, good. Good job, Ricky. 
So this piece of lump metal was like a what? Like a shield? Yeah, I'm not even confused. It's it's literally a face. Like it's a. Uh, I'm trying to find an image for you to describe it. Oh, there's a oh. Or like a mask? Yeah, it's like a mask. It's like a oh, it's a mask. Casted face. It's like this here. I'll I'll send you this as an image to give you some clarification, like that. But it's like an old man's face. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Oh. Oh, I tap it. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, solid bronze. Hey guys, I found this mask. That's no good bronze. for selling. Okay, but how heavy is it? Uh, I'm saying it's about at least five pounds. Hmm. But it is solid bronze. I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is mine now. She's mine now. I'm, just gonna... uh, I'm going to assume without the detect magic, I cannot see if it's magical in nature. No, you can't detect if it's magical in nature, yeah. unfortunately. You know what? When when we go take a rest or something, I'll I'll start analyzing stuff and see if we find anything magical. The, For now, I'm going to put it in the backpack. If you want to analyze a magical item, you do need the identify <laughs> spell. Detect I do magic have it. will tell you if it's mildly magical, but it doesn't guarantee it's a magical item. Uh, are, we okay? are we okay with waiting 10 minutes? For me to ritual cast the identify on this just in case i will say this every time you take a break or rest for 10 minutes stuff moves mm -hmm. so just a yeah, heads up a there thing. that's this is yeah. not like a homebrew module every that's time me asking the, there that's why i'm here, asking the guys anytime you try to take a short rest take 10 minutes or take stuff parts move around so just a heads up there yeah yeah that's true uh just i don't wait. have a, I, it's not yeah. that important yeah, yeah we'll wait for keep... later and so okay, Lionel I... was possessed by the spirit of Bronze McGuff, the evil Oh one. yeah. <laughs> Fine. Oh man, he is the same, just with a beard. He's such. I an told asshole. you it was haunted. Bronze mask. Can I stealth up ahead a little bit? Sure, absolutely. Good luck, Nix. Flex waves. All right. Roll a stealth check. You stealth up ahead. You kind of look, and everywhere you turn, you like you jump at certain points because you see yourself in these mirrors. They all look the same. Do I need to roll a perception check, or no, not really? Unless you, if you <laughs> want to investigate these, perception's not going to yield you anything. You would have to go up and investigate. Touch them. I mean, I can investigate the one next to me while you guys come up, but all right, north or south? Uh, south. All right. Uh, as you go over, you reach your hand and actually goes through the mirror, and as you kind of peek your head through, you see a similar shelf, but they are bare. There's nothing on them. Oh. This one's empty, guys. Oh, mm. okay. I still move up. Did you check the mirrors? I checked this one. Hmm. Ah, hell, why not? And Thaddeus will check the other adjacent. All right, the one to the north? Yeah. Uh, as you go and you kind of look around, you walk up and put your hand on the mirror and you just hit a mirror. Oh, okay, thank God. You found a mirror? Yes, there are several, but there might be another fake one. Notably. You're free to look if you wish. Oh. As you guys make your way to the center of the room, uh, Thaddeus, your foot hits something and it kind of spins around on the floor and collides to the side as you see a torch. Eh? Hey. Huh? It is a burnt out found torch, a torch that is just the blackened end of a burnt out torch. You couldn't really see it, even with the light, but it is there and it appears to have oh. been just left behind. Ah, well, someone has been here before. Yeah, people, whoever's taking care of this dungeon has, has not been cleaning. Was he already I... there? or? It looks old. It looks like someone probably dropped it or it's just burnt out and they just were like i don't need this and just kind of left it behind mm -hmm. okay. can i move who forward wants... again while touching the mirrors while i go past yeah who wants to do the next two you know what you guys two, you guys check those two i'm gonna check the this one over here lex you poke the one in the north and see what we can find well but lex doesn't like poke mirrors lex will poke the mirrors <laughs> as we merge 
I'm just going to reveal more of the space. Combine. So you guys have moved forward. I poked the south, you poked the north. All right. So you're poking the south. Is there any broken mirror? No, they're all very well kept. That is uh, interesting. Your hand sinks through the mirror. Cool. Uh, but as same same thing, you look at the shelves and there's nothing left. It's just cobwebs. There's nothing remaining. God. Lex, as Good you one. analyze the north, uh, your hand just hits the solid mirror. I found a mirror. Nice. This is done, mirror. Lex. Thank you. Yeah. God. Okay, I'm going to creep up ahead and, and perceive what I can perceive. Uh, you kind of perceive and you look around the corner. Would anybody else like to move while Nyx is doing this? Nyx, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. The rest of you guys. Nick, uh, like, Thaddeus will check the other north mirrors okay. as they're moving forward. Thaddeus, as you check the northern mirror, you see yourself. You're a handsome young man. Mm. And you just kind of <laughs> idly turn and you look to the southern mirror and you see Nyx's reflection staring back at you. Even Wait, hold on. Currently peering around the corner ahead of you. Uh. And you Nyx. watch as her form begins to walk out of the mirror. And as you turn back to the mirror that you look at, you see a version of yourself smile. And I need you guys to all roll initiative for me. Oh, shit. Ah! It was the last two. It was the last Finally, two. Finally, I can kill my friends. <laughs> yeah. One is Thaddeus and one is Nyx. Oh, I'm going to enjoy one of those. Well, which one? Lex, roll a four. What do you like to know? <laughs> that dirty 20. Natural 20 with a 23. Well, we did oh. a lot better for three of us this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All righty. That was surprised us. So one is small, which is the next one, which is the one to the south, and one is uh, Thaddeus sized. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> monster of a lad. The he biggest stuck. guy. Uh, the he's so biggest. wise he gets stuck in the wall. He can't fit through the mirror. <laughs> Damn it. God, I haven't cleared out my monster manual since they did the Florida Mart part, and so like I have so many tabs in my monster manual right now. Mm -hmm. Why do I have this? Oh, that was I am division. I am trying so hard to shut down my D dungeon master brain. I hate it. I know. It's hard. Brr. This is cool, though, so far. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little upset with the freaking... Oh, it, you find that people are already here. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> there, I I remember I mentioned this yeah. game will fuck with you. It's like... But at the same time, it does reward... It, it both punishes and rewards curiosity in the best of mm -hmm. ways, which is pretty good. Hey, 69. Nice. Nice. All righty. Let me grab some health here real fast for your new friends. All righty. So, let's see what our initiative is. Damn, you guys. Jesus. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys are on this. Lionel. We have Nyx because her, her dexterity is higher. Then we have Thaddeus. And then we have Lex, unfortunately. You're currently making sure your brick hasn't been damaged. Uh, I, I I see this like it's just my friends over there, and he's like, "Oh, that's cool. They found friends." And he goes right back to looking. <laughs> no, that's a little slow. That's not. Those are not friends. Those are more ghosts. <laughs> what do you friends? mean? I mean, it's just your reflection. See? No, <laughs> it's not how it works. Look it's at them. Cool, it's a cool magic. You just look all around yourself. It's really cool. Lex, they have knives. Well, well, he is most I mean, beautiful. I knives. don't want my reflection being physical. Look, you have to understand, you can't judge your reflection because it has a knife, because you have a knife too. What does that make oh. you? 
And we all judge right. all the reflections. That brings us to the top of the turn order. Lionel, as you see these two forms just step out from the mirrors. Perfect replicas of your companions. Hmm. Nice. Uh, well, let's start with a good old classic Ray of Frost. All right. Uh, I'm going to shoot at Thaddeus's clone. Go for it. Ray of... Oh, wait. Can I do that from here? Uh, I do have visual contact, so... You do. You can probably, like, move one space um, over and you should be fine. Actually, we have to deal with cover rules now. Yeah, what's the deal? So, you... God. Oh boy. Welcome to combat. Welcome <laughs> to combat. Uh so a uh, target with total cover can't be targeted directly by an attacker spell, although some spells can reach such a target by including. So you're a halfling. So mm -hmm. I will say that you can attack through Thaddeus, your companion, because you are a small creature. So you can yeah, kind of go between his legs. So I will say at the yeah. moment, this creature with being behind here has, I'm gonna say half cover. So it's going to have a plus two to its AC and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, dexterity saving throws. Because okay. it is being knowing, hidden by half of the wall. So Knowing that then, I'm not going to use Dragon Frost. I'm going to use Magic Missile. Okay. Ooh. So bear with me, Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Whatever works for you. Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Uh, bear, bear with me. You're going to have some missiles going in between your trousers. Here we go. Magic what? missile. Ba bam. All right. As what level? First. Oh yeah. wait. How wait? How how you do this one? Uh, do you do one damage for all of them or roll for each? Uh, I have to roll for each one because it's plus one for each one. So. Okay. So that's the first. I'm doing level one. That's okay. the first. Two, three then. That's the second, and that's the third. All right. So uh, ten points ten of points. damage. You, you like kind of like military style like dive between Thaddeus's legs and then few, 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 Thaddeus you feel a rush like kind of like your your cape kind of bellows forward and you're like kind of Marilyn Monroe oh, a little man. bit uh, and oh. these magic missiles blast this simulacrum of yourself and kind of jettison it back its back slams into the side of the wall as it takes 10 points of force damage which really hurt it yes all right, Lionel. Does that end your turn? I val. I, I now I proudly and valiantly run away Very behind good. Lex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lex. It is now your turn. You feel uh, your halfling companion kind of run behind you as the first sign of danger has appeared, and you're like, "Wow, that's weird." There's two Thaddeuses. Wait. Which wait. one do I shoot? <laughs> wait. Which one's the real one? Wait, Lex was next? Wouldn't it be me? Yeah, I, I'm yeah, oh, sorry. Kind of I had a four. sorry, it is Nyx. I apologize. I was looking at the <laughs> other turn order for the slime. I apologize. Nyx, it is now your turn. Okay. You see an evil version of yourself kind of turn the corner and smile deviously at you. And to the north of that, you see your good friend Thaddeus, but evil Thaddeus. It's a shame he doesn't have a monocle, because that would totally be accurate for this current situation. <laughs> well, I don't know if I should be flattered or not. I would say uh... the evil version have, have goatees, Star Trek style. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus is blue instead of red. I am going to short bow shot the Thaddeus. Okay. Uh, it receives no cover, so go ahead and just roll the hit. That hits. All right, you aim up your uh, short bore shot and you let loose the arrow. It hits this creature, but it seems to be resistant to the normal physical damage, but it doesn't seem to be doing well. As the arrow hits Thaddeus, there's no blood that comes out of the, the wound or the body, but it does sit and it kind of <sighs> growls towards you angrily. Um, does he count as five feet or no? Uh, mm, I'm going to say 
because of the wall that's there, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Um. Sorry. I'll bonus action disengage then. Okay, you bonus action disengage. And you slide up next to Lex. Ah, uh, Rose. Alright, Thaddeus, you just watched your own dapper self get blasted by a magic missile and shot in the thigh by a by a very impish little gnome. And as you stare back at yourself, what do you do? Okay, question. If I move here, attack, and then move back, will I get an attack of opportunity on me? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, because we've agreed that that is, has a wall, so you would have, a, you basically gain the benefits of cover by moving in that way, so I'm gonna say, for the sake of it, yeah. Mmm, interesting. Alright then, Thaddeus is just gonna appear behind the corner and see this extremely handsome looking man, and he's gonna say, you know, it's one thing if it's weird disease-ridden monsters or ghosts, but I'm not a fan of pale imitations. And he's gonna use second level chromatic orb. Okay. Now, I don't know, like, what's the difference if I have to use it on a second level? Do I have to, like, go to so my spells? So if you click the spell, the it'll machine? tell you, when you click the spell to cast, it should tell you, like, what level do you want to cast at, and you select second level. Uh, okay. Orb. Oh, wait, nope, that just says start. Mm. Oh. That was oh, the yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was on the first to, one. You have to hit first, and then when you click the chromatic. So if you click chromatic orb, like the text, you'll see it'll ask you what level you're casting it at. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, that is a no, natural that's one. one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and this is not river. This is a. Here, here's a question for you. Uh, and this is for all the players. Do you guys want to run crit failures and crit successes? Oh, I personally I'm, I'm, love crit failures and crit successes because they're fun. Mm -hmm. uh, could you, like... So how this works is, just because I know a few of you are my like, new players. So what I do is if you critically fail, uh, I roll a d20. The higher the roll on the d20 during a failure, the more devastating the crit failure is. Um, mm. However... The lower the number, it means you miss, essentially, depending on the situation. Oh, um, yeah, like a... Yeah, so, like, it's not an automatic chaos, like, you know, like, it's not automatic horrible nightmare time, but if I say roll, and I roll an 18, then something bad happens, because it's a high roll. Um, similarly, okay. if an enemy crits, like, crit fails as well, same roll for it them. Applies. Yeah. It applies to them as well. So, um... Yeah, Took me a second to realize, but that's actually a rule that we use in, like, an another game I used to play. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I am okay with it. Okay, are you guys all as players okay with this as a rule yep. set? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. I'm okay with the chance of it being good or bad, or rather, neutral yeah. or bad. Uh, I rolled an 8, so it is just a miss. So as you cast out the Chromatic War of you, unfortunately, you're going to have to write out that spell slot, and you need to roll a d20 for your wild magic because you are oh, casting mm -hmm. a spell. Mm -hmm. So that's funny. right, everyone. Thaddeus is a wild ma mage. All right, you're fine. And that's a six. You're totally he's, fine. You just missed. He's gonna see. He's gonna see his magic like dissipate after like giving that, after being threatening. He's gonna look surprised and say, <laughs> and he's gonna run past uh everyone and go to the back. All right. It is now the end of right. turn. Okay, it's your turn to deal with this. Aggressively swapping sides. The Thaddeus reflection chases after Nyx and is going to attempt to grab you with its hands. Rude. How rude. Oh, I rolled terribly, though. That is a six to hit. That will miss. As it reaches to grab you, you kind of climb up Lex's shoulder like a monkey <laughs> trying to avoid, avoid a tiger. Ha! <laughs> monkey! It's great, Nyx. I got you. The <laughs> Nyx... The Nyx reflection pulls out their own little dagger and goes for the thigh. Sorry, Nyx. I'm going to have to stab you. <laughs> Rude, uh, that's my move. That's that is a soft 20 to hit. That's copyrighted. Uh, that, uh, that will do it. Uh, you take eight points of necrotic damage. Ooh. Excellent. And your strength score is reduced by four. <gasps> Whoa. Excellent. 
Wait, as by thing, four? As Reflection Nyx stabs you in the thigh, you feel your energy drain. You feel really tired and weaker. So that is a temporary change, so make sure you write down your original strength. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, your strength score is reduced by four. Excellent. That ends the enemy's turn. Lex, it is now your turn. You've been stabbed in the thigh by a toddler. Fuck it, violence is the only language they understand. Wow. 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 Absolutely. Wow. I'm gonna swap it. Alright, the one in front of you? Yep, the one directly in front of me. I'm swapping. That hits. With a 22. Uh, this is gonna be a minus one to damage, so only three points of damage. As and... Thaddeus, as you watch your companion Lex slice your reflections head off you can't help but feel slightly disturbed by this display as from the <clears throat> neck joint just spews out this black shadow that falls and crumples to dust on the ground i think i have you didn't get my face right either you bitch <laughs> mm -hmm. i think i have another attack with my you do you have extra attack as a fighter yep Another attack coming in, 18 for the next one. That hits. And that is going to be a total of five points of damage because my minus one of my blade. All right, one second. I have tape on something and that was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. All right, that hits. That is six points of slashing damage. As you slice, slash down on the little Nyx reflection, notably the damage just doesn't purchase as well. That is your action. You have your bonus action and your movement. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to do things. Uh, I'm going to do, for my bonus action, I'm going to do Shieldmaster Shove. Okay. I'm going to push him back at least five feet. Okay. As uh, you go it... and shield bash this thing, unfortunately, mm -hmm. it is immune to being grappled and put prone, so I'm going to argue that it cannot be pushed, as it is not completely corporeal in nature. As you go to push it, your shield actually, like, goes through Nyx's body for a mo moment, and you're, like, <sighs> kind of confused by this thing as it reforms and kind of cocks its head and smiles towards you. Uh, to clarify, it's, it's immune to just shove actions, right? Uh... Shove in this sense is a similar to an extension of a grapple check. Um, additionally, being knocked prone is another thing. It is immune to being any physical changes to itself, essentially, okay. is what it's thing. So it can't be exhausted, frightened, um, grappled. Like, it can't be stopped or moved, essentially, because it is a incorporeal creature, unfortunately. Maybe by magical okay. by magical means will be the Magical means, way. possibly, yeah. But yeah. physical means, unfortunately not. Gotcha. Yeah. But, good effort. Unfortunately, yep. does that's not That's the work. end of my movement. Alright, that brings us to the top of the turn. Our Lionel is now your turn. You watch as the Thaddeus clone just melts away into black smoke. Hmm. Wait, the Thaddeus one? I thought, it, I thought they switched places. Oh yeah, that's right. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, we're doing it live. We'll pretend you okay, killed the weaker one. Okay, we're doing it live. One. Yeah, we'll pretend you killed the weaker one. I mean, it makes sense anyway, less damage coming out. But Got it. the I'll next one the... is still alive. I'll shoot the next one with a ray of thrust. Okay, you go between the legs of your companion. Yep. So I got a little cold. Ray of thrust. I'm going to give it cover because technically your companion is a small creature as well. Uh, is the armor class 25? Uh, nope, that will hit. <laughs> yeah. Ba bam 12. 12 cold damage. And his movement is reduced by 10 feet. All right. As you hit it with the cold damage, you watch as Nyx gets blasted with this, like, frosty, like, cold air. And, like, usually, you know, the hair would frost over, the color would go more pale. Some of that frost goes through Nyx's form. It seems to be resistant as well to cold damage. No, oh, wise eyes betraying me today. Yep. Also, hi, oh. Zito. Hope you're doing well. Hey, hey Zito. I'll get, and I'll get some distance. All right. Just a small one. That brings and that's going to be my turn. 
All right, Nyx, you look at the reflection of yourself as it pulls the jagger from Lex's thigh. The clone of yourself kind of turns and just kind of smiles. It's sort of like this empty stare. There's definitely no soul behind it. Haunting and creepy. I'm going to stab it with a dagger. All right. Nice! That hits. And you have sneak attack because you have Lex within five feet of you. Okay. So that is 14 damage total. You go and you similarly try and slice, like, kind of going up the chest. And you do so, and there's this eruption of, like, this black ichor, kind of, like, smokiness. And then it heals over. It seems to have resisted the blow, but it is looking a little bit off-put at the moment. Can I do a bonus action dagger attack? Yeah, absolutely. You can offhand attack if you wish. Just go ahead and roll the hit, but you will not apply your modifier to this damage roll. Don't yeah. you do you still have the sneak attack with the Lex next to you? No, you only get sneak attack once a turn, and it's on yeah. the first hit of the whatever hit you make. So 12 just hits. Oh. Uh, and that's going to be hey. three points of damage, cut yeah. in half to one which is exactly what its health was. You oh, go no. and, like, bring in an overhead hey. stab, and you hit the armor, and you're like, shit, that's armor! But this thing is a simulacrum. It is not you. And your dagger goes through the armor and kind of pierces through, and the shadowy form pops like a haunting balloon, and its essence scatters. Next time, pick your own face. And with that, the chamber lies still. Well, that was harrowing. Oh. And a bit traumatic. Oh. Weirdly satisfying. But. What does that mean? Hmm? I just, yeah, just always. Myself. It's always fun to, to, to see something like, like this, like, you know, show up. Magical weird creature coming out of a mirror. Well, I suppose so. Down. Is my arrow retrievable from earlier? Yeah, you actually pick it up and it is undamaged entirely. Cool. Last two. You see, just you see Lionel pull out the piece, the piece of parchment he's been writing on. Last two mirrors. Weird shadow clones. Beware. Just making notes of, every, of all of this. Lisa would kind of take a little sit down and go, I don't feel good. Are you quite all right? Lex no feel many much good. All right. Yes. Gonna, as you stand up there, you begin to watch as another form of yourself begins to form and step Can out I, uh, of the mirror. Can I smash the mirror? Uh, you can try. I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative, though. Okay, what? well, I, I yeah, can always get stuck out of the yeah. way. Okay. Any creature that walks past these mirrors, it summons another one. So. Oh, we need to get past it! <laughs> well, uh, for the guys. sake of these, we'll, we'll stick with same turn order. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm okay. In, the, in place right here now? Yep. Okay. Oh god, that means we have, we're gonna have to fight three more. Well, it depends. I'm, we're not technically in front of the bottom mirror, so I don't know. Wait, how tall is the ceiling here? Uh, the ceiling here? Oh god. Uh, I believe it is... How tall are these? I'm gonna err on the side. I'm gonna say it's about ten feet tall. Okay. The niches are three feet in. And the mirrors, how tall are they? Uh, they are, they encompass the space. They're circular, gotcha. though, but they encompass the space. Okay. I, I was hoping for, like, jump over the mirror vision and skip that. But okay. Give me one second, sorry. Come on. Roll 20 is very slow with this module, just because the sheer scale of it is quite large. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do this one by one. 
Hey, we got this. Just make sure you go to the other side as soon as you pass. Why are you not working? Hold on. I like this. I that, that that is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's very neat. It doesn't specify that it stops, so it just mm. says when a creature stands in front of these mirrors, they summon this thing. And there's some other features, but I don't. Why the fuck is it not giving me my token? Oh. Hold up. Uh, it's being a jerk to me. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Oh, because I'm not the DM. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I was doing a uh, long computer. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I was like, the camera was trying something. Yeah, it was me. I was trying to do it as the camera. There we go. Oh, yeah. That, then if you were doing it as a camera, change the camera to the chat then. Yeah, I'm so used to running uh, games on... Uh... Yeah. On the other one. As another oh, wow. one appears, Lionel, you hear a sudden noise as another Nyx pops out of the northmost mirror. Oh. Okay, don't come back, Nyx. You keep moving forward. We're going to have to go one by one. Okay. So it's my turn, I, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is. It is your turn, Lionel. Oh, yes. King said, Blame Bracky Zito. He named his character Lionel. It ain't my fault. That name I had it before he made Lionel 46. It's Lionel 2. Lionel 2. Yeah, I'm going to stand here. To have a better view of it. You're still going to be firing through an ally, so it's still going to get covered because your ally is Oh, yeah, size because this thing is the same size. Yeah. yeah. It is the same size, and it is also... You have Nyx in front of you, who is the same size category as you, unfortunately. Oh, Tarnation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, time to avoid having to go through her, so magic missile. Okay. One, and two, and three. That is going to be 10 points of damage. <laughs> Blasts into this new simulacrum of Nyx that kind of staggers backwards towards the mirror. And it kind of re... Almost like a like a puppet on string kind of readjusts itself. That is <gasps> your action. You have your bonus and your movement. I have, five, I have five extra feet, so I'm going to just move back one more space. Okay. Nyx, it is now your turn. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna go in with the dagger. Okay. No sneak attack. You don't have an ally within five feet. Yeah, no. Actually, Bracky, maybe stay I'll... out of the chat. You're breaking the rules. Yep, sorry. We just said Cedo. I need to check. Okay, maybe <laughs> I'll actually go after it with my rapier. Yeah, okay. I'll do a rapier attack. Going for a rapier strike. Yeah. That I'm hits. Shutting down, I'm shutting down chat now. Oof. You stab into this thing's side, and as you kind of pull out the rapier, there's like a little pot mark, and there's like a little, like like a little fume of smoke coming out of it that kind of heals over. You hit it pretty hard, but uh, it seems resistant. But you did do damage to it, and it kind of like looks down at it, looks up at you, and pulls out its own rapier of its own design as well. Well, disengage. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and I will reveal more space for you. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. I was told. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, moving, moving. These hacking mirrors. Can you do 60 feet down for your dark vision for me? Oh, yeah, one second. Switch to the ruler. Uh, down. Oh, down. Oh, whoops. Down, down, down. Wrong button. There we go. One second. Alrighty. Does that end your turn there, Nyx? Yes. Alrighty. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. 
Hmm, I have a question. Let me just move over here first. If I, like Max Payne, just like duck, like, just like jump from the side, kind of fire off a firebolt like a, like, bullet time for Max Payne and go to the other side. Sure, absolutely. Okay. In that case, he is going to move and he is going to pow pow. All right. Ooh. As you fire in a similar slow motion fashion, Nyx does like a matrix style backflip. The simulacrum Nyx does like a backflip. The fireball <laughs> sprays across the mirror, which is undamaged. And as you kind of like land feet first, you hear the sound of kind of like like shifting glass as Thaddeus two emerges Daddy. out. Ah, oh, why, why did you do one. That? I thought it would be. I, I thought it wouldn't work for the other one. Oh. <laughs> we have to kill ah. them first, then pass. Oh no! All right. Turn one, everyone. Let's go. And that's it. All righty. Brings us to the shadows' turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. The next shadow is gonna go for you, Thaddeus. Of course. Uh, that is an eight. I don't think that's gonna hit, is it? It does not hit. All right. It reaches out with its rapier and tries to stab you. It manages just to catch a bit of your cape and tear it a bit. But beyond that, you remain undamaged. The Thaddeus simulacrum. Is gonna go for you, Lionel. Hi. I don't like this. Well, too bad. No. I hate it when I'm playing the game and I close my book, even though I still need it. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Is this forced force of habit? Ah, uh, yes. It's a habit. It's bad. I don't even know why I do it because it doesn't help me anyway. Uh, 13 to hit you. Oh, that just hits. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, no, hold on. I forgot I have this. Uh, cast a shield. As the hands Ooh. reach out to grab your face, you bring up a magical shield that slices off the hand of illusionary Thaddeus, and it reaches back with a stump, and you watch as smoke culminates into a new hand. You will remain unharmed. <gasps> <laughs> After seeing what happened to Lex, I'm not risking it. All right, Lex, it is now your turn. I assume my strength uh, debuff is still on, correct? Yes. Excellent. Uh, Lex is going to hop straight into the middle of it. All right. He will slash down to help his uh, wizard friend. All right. With you flank. You have advantage. Uh, 20. Ooh, that hits. Go ahead and nice. roll damage. Seven nice. damage. You slice down and carve the illusionary Nyx away. And it is dead. Wow, I've watched so myself die twice today. Yeah, it's a little fucked up. Sun attack. Yeah. Sword swinging down onto the, the next one. one. That hits. 23 hits. 23. Yeah. Damage three. Three. All right. You swing and destroy the Nick Simulacrum. And as you swing, you just feel really fatigued and manage to kind of nick the side of Simulacrum Thaddeus' face. But... You're just, oh, you could really go for a nap. Does that end your turn, Lex? You still have your movement. Cause I, I think I spent most of my movement getting up there. Okay. Yes, I am done. You can keep All it. right. Back at the start of turn order, Lionel, it's now your turn. Oh. Okay. I can't really risk that. What do I know of shadows, by the way? You don't I'm know what guess. these are. These are using shadow what? tokens, but these gotcha. don't look like shadows. Gotcha. There's a bit of that in this game. And I again, nothing here is homebrewed. This is all the pre-made adventure, <laughs> but there are some adjustments to monsters in this already. So. Gotcha. Uh, I will. I will. I will. I will. I say. I say. I'm going to use Ray of Frost. Okay. No. Uh, it oh, is yeah. within melee, so it's with disadvantage. Oh. Okay, so there's there's that rule here for that. Okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah. then I'm then I'm going to disengage. Okay. And start scaling away from him. Oh, I um, I forgot. I forgot you could split your movement in DD yep. 5e. Yep. You is can. it okay for me to be right up here? Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. As you run past and join Thaddeus, you watch as 
a simulacrum of Lex begins to form in the mirror. Um, that would that didn't use my plans then. Good luck. What do you mean, good luck? Good luck. <laughs> Why are you people walking before we kill As the next one? A blonde haired, knightly fighter individual just steps out and stares at all of you. The same sort of incredulous look. This is a Hi, fun. Lex. This is a fun trap area. This is great. I'm loving this. Yeah. <laughs> on the yeah, other was, side. All right, I was to find a way to like take bed rolls and hide under the bed rolls and see if that works. I I that changes my plan. I don't know if I don't know if these things can see if they need they need sight to find you or not. Let's test it out. That's what this game is for, so I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Okay. You whoop, disappear. And now to see if this works. I'm gonna step one away. No attack of opportunity. I'm just checking something. Mm -hmm. Again, I know this, it is, this is a learning experience. I'm trying to yeah. learn some things and re uh, reestablish. Yeah, I need to know. And this is going to work to see if these things can see invisible creatures. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. So they are going to get attacks on you, but here's the good news. They're all with disadvantage because they can't see you. They do not have any blind sense. Then they cannot attack me. Attacks of opportunity is against creatures you can, you can see. Uh, an invisible creature is impossible to see without the aid of magic or a special sense. For the purposes of hiding, the creature is heavily obscured. The creature's location can be detected by any noise it makes or any tracks it leaves. So you're going to still make footsteps, so they're going to swing at you by the footsteps. If you're not moving, I... then they wouldn't know. So, invisible is not a catch-all. It would be extremely broken if that's the case. They do get attacked no, but... against you. But attacks of opportunity is against creatures you can see. Uh, oh, that is correct, actually. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, let me double check that just to confirm. Mm -hmm. Not that I doubt you, no but just to confirm. No worries. I I have dealt with that in, uh, in one of my campaigns as my brain goes yeah. to... Uh... I'm not seeing. Let me grab my rule book. We're gonna do no that. No worries. Because I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing nope. anything saying where if they can't see you, it doesn't go off. So. Again, ba -ba -ba -ba. This, is where, this is where we're confirming stuff like this at the moment. Uh, reactions. Yeah, when a hostile creature that you can see moves well, out of their I'm, reach. I'm, I'm looking up good up. I need to. Sorry. Yep, no worries. Uh, ah, here we go. When you attack a creature, uh, target you can't see, you have disadvantage on the attack roll. This is true whether you're guessing the target's location. If you're targeting a creature, you can hear but not see. Yeah, but the, the rule is from opportunity attack. Yeah, one second. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. God, this is more vague writing. Uh, also, I'll be right back, but I'm still listening. No, 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 no worries. worries. Make an opportunity to attack on a hostile creature that you can see moves out of your reach. You know what? Fuck it. I'll allow it. Uh, you're invisible. It can hit you. So, go where you need to go. They don't know where you are. They can hear you, though, so they'll know where you're heading, but they can't see you to make an opportunity attack. Yeah, if that, pro if that didn't provoke it, then I'm just going to move a little like, over here. Yeah. Just to make sure. No, you're you're good. Like they can't hit you because they can't see wrong, you. Wrong, wrong way, Lionel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wait, what happens if I go through like to that corridor when the mirror? Well, I'm gonna wait for these things to die first. All right, that ends your turn. 
Yep, that's it. Nyx, it is now your turn. Woo! Okay, um... I'm going to... Let me give you the ninja, because you're invisible. I'm a ninja. I'm gonna I'm sh shoot an arrow underneath uh, Thaddeus at this one. Okay. No sneak attack, just a general hit. Um, actually, could I use my bonus action first to do an insight against their charisma? Sure, yeah, absolutely. It's a charisma saving throw or just a straight charisma roll? Uh, against uh, deception. Gotcha, so it's insight against deception. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a 10. Oh, oh man. Uh, unfortunate. Okay, I'll just do a straight short bow attack. Okay. That hits. Yes. God. Oh, damn. Rogues, man. <laughs> I remember Helena. Whew. You're aiming for the, uh, I believe it was Thaddeus, the Thaddeus clone. Yeah. All right, that hits. All righty. You have your bonus action, your movement. I used my bonus action. Oh, right. Right, to do your insight uh. check. I apologize. Or your deception. Right. Yeah, and so, you, um... you where you are? Now I'll stay. Okay. That brings us around to Thaddeus. It is now your turn. You watch as your good friend, uh, Lionel, disappears suddenly out of nowhere. But you know he's able to do this. You guys are pretty aware of each other's abilities in that sense. He probably casted invisibility on himself. But Thaddeus, it I is probably, now your turn. I probably scared uh, legs a couple of times. A uh, question. Do I have to use for, for meta magic? Do I have to use Empowered Spell after I hit and roll for damage? Uh, can you click Empowered Spell for me? Yes, I can. Here we go. Uh, oh, okay. So you have to roll first, and then, like, if, say, you get, like, one, like, two ones, you can be like, I want to use the Empowered Spell. Uh, and then you can okay. re-roll those dice, essentially. But that's for damage, right? That is for damage only, yeah. Okay. He is going to take aim and, like, pew pew, a firebolt at his Wicked Reflection. All right. Give me something. Eleven, unfortunately, goes wide and splashes against the ground. It reignites that little torch that was on the ground for, like, half a second, and it immediately pizzles out. Unfortunately, a complete miss. I'm so sorry. Ah, why are you so hard to hit? Uh, uh let's see. What else do I have here? You watch as Simulacrum Thaddeus... Does that same flourish at the tavern with the with the flowing cape and everything? Oh, you bastard! And he is just gonna like wildly like. Can I use an item for a bonus action by any chance? Uh, it is the use action. So unfortunately, unless you are a thief rogue, uh, and you have a specific ability, no, you have to use your action unless it states otherwise. <laughs> All right. In that case, he is just going to, like, wildly pick around, and, like, he's going to feel something in his back pocket. And he is going to pull out a holy water flask. Okay. Yeah, that will take an holy action water. to use. And he's just going to raise that menacingly. It's like, don't make me use this! Because it you guys do not have a healer, and I want to be merciful, uh, taking a potion is a bonus action. Administering a potion to somebody else is an action, though. So Ooh, keep, okay. got it. keep that in mind. So if you take a potion that, yourself, bonus action. If you are giving it to somebody else, that is an action because you have to open right your mouth, dad. you have to pour it in. It's a whole process. Whereas with you, you just take it out one hand, pull the cork, drink it. So, all right. Uh, the bottle. Hmm. hmm. Is it possible to hold a bonus action just like when he's no. like trying to grapple me? Okay. No. All can't. right. In that case, he's gonna hold it up menacingly and say, "Don't make me use this," and that's all you can do. All right. It One is thing that... hmm? uh, I'll advise is that if you guys back up, I can start protecting people a little bit better. All right. He's going to back up just a little bit, like a little bit of a coward. Yeah. It can still get in there, but it still allows me to start dishing out protection, start closing in his face. Yeah. Uh, all righty. The reflections are now going to, it is now their turn. The reflection of your good friend Lex is going to attack you, Nyx. Yay! Natural one! Hey! Yay. Yay. There you go. It's doing its job. Uh, 
actually relatively severe. Uh, as this creature reaches down to grab you, Nyx, go ahead and do an offhand attack for free. It was a 13, so it's not a really high number, but go ahead and do a dagger, quick little dagger slash. All right. As you swing towards with your dagger, unfortunately you miss with the, yeah, no, this little attack, but hey, it didn't hit you. Yeah. The, I tried. I tried. The copy of Thaddeus with its flowing, beautiful cape uh, charges towards you, Lex, and is going to reach out with its hands. Uh, that is going to be a 13 to hit. Lex? Is it, sorry? Mm, no, no, I'm, I'm checking on stuff. Uh, yeah, that does not hit me. No, you bring up your shield, and the hands just kind of collide with the shield, and you kind of manage to hold it back. That ends their turn. Lex, it is now your turn. Excellent. I'm going to the one that is currently north of me. Lifting up the longsword, just bam, straight down oh. 20. Oh, 20 wait. hits. No flanking, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, yeah, on a flanking right. position, it does. Seven. Why do okay. I have a plus three? That's from the, the natural 20 on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's a six. You slash down on the arm and cut off, like, the simulacrum of yourself, and it kind of regrows its arm. It is still standing. All right, when he does a spin around, the sword swings right back on the same one oh. with another 20. Oh. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll damage. Stabbing right into its chest. I stab yeah. straight into it with eight points of damage. You plunge the sword, and usually there's, like, organs and, like, bones and stuff that kind of gets in the way, but this just goes right through, like, butter. And as you pull back the sword, the simulacrum of yourself kind of grabs its chest and kind of glares at you angrily. It is look, excuse me, it is looking very rough but it is unfortunately still standing. Right, and that's all the actions I can really do right now. All right, that brings us top of the turn order. Lionel, it is now your turn. You are invisible, and you yeah. see now as the shadow, the shadows, quote unquote, the copies of your allies have completely ignored you and are now turning and looking towards your companions at the moment. Yeah, sadly, I cannot attack or use a spell, otherwise I become visible again. I'm going to have to hold up because I want to test some. I want to test something, so I need to remain invisible for now. What I can do, however, is send uh, Codwell to my companions. Uh, see, yeah, you can do. Let me just grab for you. I'm going to send Codwell to get near Nyx. Yeah, I think Nyx is going to need the help there. I'm gonna give you this real fast. We can make a token mm -hmm. for him later. Come on, little 20. Come on, I believe in you. Are you doing I this know, in the I uh... know it's a big map. I know it's a big thing, but please. Uh, hey! There you go. You can move. I'll give you permission to move that. Yep. Now remember, your familiar can also be hit as well. That is true. If it enters a combat space. Uh, I'm trying to buy character settings. What the hell does that mean? Just point where you want him and he'll go there. I can I can move it. So, uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll have to make you a token at some point. Let's send him... Oh, God, we need to go... I, I, want, to, I want it to be able to do the help action, but... I don't know. I don't think being here is going to help with the flanking, is it? He's too. T he's a tiny creature. He cannot <laughs> yeah. flank worth a damn. I'm he, sorry. What he can do is with the help action, though, uh, uh, with a creature that is five feet near it. Okay. So if if finds if I send uh, Caldwell, you know what? Wait, what happens if Caldwell goes to the mirrors, though? Uh, mm. Never mind. Never mind. That's just. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait in where I am. Bring Caldwell back. God damn it. Okay. Back in my robes. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait. Sorry, guys. All right, does that end your turn, Lionel? Yes. Nix, it is now your turn as a very tall Lex duplicate. You have two Lexes. Lex to the top of me. Lex now to the right. Here I am. There's just way too much Lex. <laughs> 
I mean, Kingdom we haven't Netflix. filled Alex yet, so like we have not. We need to add it to our Woo! collection. Woo! Rapier. Woo! That hits. Fourteen hits, and you have you have sneak attack because you're you have an ally within five feet of this creature. Woo! Sneak attack. That's a good sneak attack. Oh, yeah, that's a very good sneak attack. <laughs> Ooh, oh damn. Uh, that is a that's twenty seven. Uh. Yeah, looking very rough, both of them at this point. They are both on their last legs, it looks like. Uh, I'll offhand with a dagger. Okay. Oh. Nope. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, so many ones today. I'm oh. sorry, real X. I didn't mean to hit real X. You are about to <laughs> go ahead and roll damage for your dagger. No. Luckily, it's your offhand, so that's good. Uh, four. So, you, Lex, you take four points of piercing damage as ow. Just stab as your gnomish <laughs> companion stabs you, like miss gets the two Lexes confused and like the the, the squabble, and like you're like uh, this one, and you stab them in the leg. Unfortunately, I rolled a Lex natural will twenty on turn the around. I'm sorry, you both look same, so alike. Same team! <laughs> he looks like you, though. <laughs> but I'm cuter! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the more handsome one! This is bullshit! All right, next, that's your action and your bonus action. You have your movement, but you are within the danger zone at the moment. Nope. Uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> All right, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Okay, he's just seeing this go on, and he's just this whole, he's gripping the flask in his hand. Well, the spells won't work. Maybe this thing will. It should. And just a quick question before I do this: If I throw it right here, will this will it splash both of them? No, it is one square. It is not a lot of liquid, so you're gonna hit only okay. one. Okay, in that case, he is going to like put a shoulder on Lex, like jump, like using to go up a bit, and just like dunk the whole flask around the Daddy's clone. Uh, the one across, you can't do that. You have an ally within five feet who is the same size as you, and you are not a small creature. So, unfortunately, you can't hit the Thaddeus clone. You could only with this flask. You could throw with disadvantage um, and the ca and the cover, but I'm going to say with the cover, because we are using cover, you can't hit the Thaddeus one. Uh, Lex is in the way. You can attempt to pour the liquid instead of throwing it, because if you throw it, it's going to be with disadvantage on the Lex clone. <laughs> Uh, or you okay. can just pull and pop it and pour it, which is just a, you can just do as an action, I'll allow that. Okay, so I can just pull and pop, like, so if I step forward a little bit, maybe swap places with Lex, I can just pour it on him? No, you can't swap places with your ally. You, the, Lex is occupying that space, you cannot occupy the same space as him. Uh, you also can't attack a creature through him, because he is blocking your space as you guys are the same size. As it okay, is right in that now, case... You can you can. I'll go for this. Clone. Yeah, you have to go for this cologne here. That's the only one you can see right now, unfortunately. All right then. In that case, he'll like pop up the fit uh, the, the, the the cork. He's just gonna pour it over this one. How about right. this? As you pour over it, there's a moment of quiet, and you just see a wet Lex clone look at you. They are not undead. Oh. Huh. I it, thought this thing would have worked. It looks like you just dunked Lex in water, and it looks very angry towards you with narrowed eyes. <laughs> that, well, is your, that is your action. Uh, <laughs> lucky, lucky me. And that'll be his turn, I guess. Okay. It is now the Shadow's turn. Uh, the one that you dumped the water on is going to attack you, because you've insulted it pretty badly. That is fair. That is fair. <laughs> like a slap to the face. Uh, that is going to be a 13 to hit. That hits. Okay. I just dried this clothes. You got them wet again? Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a whole you are day. going to take eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. And your strength is going to, uh, is going to be reduced by two. Ha! Joke's on you. I don't use that anyway. So write down your strength score, and uh, you'll need to minus two. Now, keep in mind... When any stat block in D and D hits zero, for like a character, you die. Mm-hmm. It's a rough no. one. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. All right. Okay. The so other it's one, now. The other one is going to reach out to you, Lex. Uh, terrible. A six. That's going to miss entirely. I laugh at him. 
<laughs> you laugh and, like, fake Thaddeus, like, looks really sad and dejected and, like, the same sort of, like, embarrassment as the pub itself, the tavern above. Uh, like Spitz. That ends their turn. Lex, it is now your turn. Excellent. Same verse, same as the first. North one I swing at. Well, bam! 13. 13. That just hits. That just a hit with one damage. Oh. It's, again with the 19. it's barely standing. That hits. 19 and, hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you cut off your own head. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. That's gonna happen. Your, your copy disappears. Lionel, as you look ahead, you see an opening. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> but I also see this thing in the middle. Ah. Uh. So do you do you manage delays or something in this? Huh? Delay? Do you manage delay turns or just? Uh, held action. You have to take your your yeah. entire turn to hold an action. You can move and hold an action, but it takes your bonus and your action action to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is still Lex. It is still your turn. That was your action, your bonus action, and your movement. Uh, I have no reason to do anything else right now. So you sure you don't want to stand in front of the mirror and summon another simulacrum? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. No. You know, just kill everybody. All right. I'll just, I'll, I'll just do all my actions in, out, in, out, in, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, in, out, in, out. <laughs> all right. Lionel, it is now your turn. Remember, you can oh, you go know, through allies. I know. The, 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 the issue is this. Uh, I have 25 feet of movement. Ah, that you could dash as an action. You have to do it from your token, yeah. So you can. Yeah. You, here, get there. here's the here's the issue. The moment this happens, I don't know if I need. This is the experimentation, guys. This is for the sake of science. I might die. Just so dash please. over here. Just, just just do it. Uh, that's my twenty-five feet of movement first. All right. As you go in front of the mirror, you look in the mirror and you don't see yourself. You just see the simulacrum of Thaddeus in the mirror, and you're. Nothing happens, and you're fine. Yes! And dash. Alright, uh, you dash. I can't go through you, so I can go through you, and there we go. Alright, that brings <gasps> us to Nyx's turn. There, your Lex clone is gone, it is just the Thaddeus clone, still engaged in battle with real Hex, who's got a stab wound in his leg now. I'm real sorry about that, but hey, this one doesn't look like you, and uh, I'm gonna rape your ears. Okay. That, oh my god, 24, that hits, absolutely. Damn. Mm -hmm. And you get sneak attack. Sneak attack. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot it was only the first one. Mm. Do you ever, Shay, have you ever played Shadow of the Colossus? I, I own that game, but I have not played it yet. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Play it. We, Play it. Dude, dude, you and I should Bruh. hang out and play that game. Yes. Okay. Um, look, Draco got it for me at the same time that she got me, like, The Witcher, and I started uh, with The Witcher, and it, it's also a very long game, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, you and I, we should legitimately, like, hang out. That would be really great, like, just hang out and play Shadow of the Colossus. Because mm. it's not a, it's not an, inc it's actually reasonably long, but it's a really good pickup game. Um, anyway, you jump onto this thing's chest. You don't occupy the space where the mirror would make a simulacrum of you, but you jump onto the chest of this thing, and, like, the Shadow of the Colossus protagonist bring up your rapier and just stab the fake Thaddeus through the clavicle, and then, like, backflip up, land where you are, and it just, as it falls back first to the ground, it just dissipates into dust. And Thaddeus is just looking at this, still holding the dripping flask and looking... Mm -hmm. And with that, I think here's a good point to take a break. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to feed my cat, and I'm going to grab something to drink, because my voice is getting very hoarse. Yeah. Time to get long. some snacks. I'm still upset. I didn't get my root beer. Bullshit. God, why would you have root beer? That thing is disgusting. I'm never gonna, going to understand you people. I hate pickles, but for some reason, people like that crap. Mm. Oh, you hate them too? Nice. I hate pickles, Anti -pick dude. Anti-pickle gang, hell yeah. Uh, she's yelling some stuff, which uh, doesn't really... Uh, <laughs> you just hear from behind you, guys like, oh, well done, you guys, we did it. Yeah, dude, I... 
Oh. Like, you imagine like, if you turn the corner and there's like 50 more mirrors and you're like, no! Uh. <laughs> it's like, just start running and hope that the door way to close. They go through it, damn it! That damn priest told me this thing would have worked. Is he still, like... Also, I'm kind of curious. Did, like, since I only just poured it, is there still a little bit of holy water in there? Or... I don't know. You think you used all of it? Nope, it's gone. Okay. Yep, it's gone. You got a bottle it now. You can hold fairies in there. Yeah. I guess so. You can consume it okay. for sustenance. Eh, fair enough. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make another one. And he's gonna die. Mm. It's a delicacy I need to try later. And he's just gonna down another potion of healing. Uh, make sure not to roleplay during break because we need to keep that track of stuff. Up. So please wait. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, sorry. 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 That is messed okay, so... up. Sorry. Uh, it reminds me of that comic where someone I mean, shows I'm how not they. Playing. So th that reminds me of that comic where someone shows how they make the healing potions, and it's just a fairy in a blender. It's like no, <laughs> no. Okay, so I don't know about you guys. I wasn't role playing, you know, satisfying crunch of fairies and bottles. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. The tiny, no, the tiny wipes. No. Huh. I got a tool of strength. No. <laughs> yeah, we have to figure out how to heal you from that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a long rest will help, or am I might actually. I rely on you, magic users. Hmm. Guess what we needed. Yeah, I I built my guy to literally rely on you guys. Isn't His it job great is that we don't have a healer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I expected to have a druid in this run. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I mean the but the original <laughs> concept of my guy or whatever I switched because like, I just want to be a tank. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, bear the bear. other one's gonna be was gonna be the bear bear, and uh, the more bear I kept bear. looking at, it, like I I just did, I didn't want anything complicated. Just... I want to just hop in here, chill out because, like especially during this time, yeah, I'm just a dude, man. Just yeah, especially just during this time, I started getting exhausted and tired, so I'm just like, all right, just guys being dudes. Yeah. Just dudes being bros. Yeah. yeah just being yes. guys, guys being man. dudes. Just being, I'm just hanging out with the dudes, being a dude. Just, just, just guys being right. dudes. Also, like being apart. also, speaking of like, like I know you said like, like how long we should we we should run this game for for like like hour lies. Mm -hmm. Would one more hour be good? Because like it's getting pretty late over here. I was gonna ask. I'm good to go for another like 45 minutes or so. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm okay. Also, the per who has the war the job tomorrow though? It was a. Uh... That's Shay. Uh, Shay. I start at 9, so I still have time. Okay. Sorry for me eating an onion ring. How dare Where's you eat an onion ring? Is it a onion? onion? No. You guys disrespect the word, the, the fucking, the nature that is pickles, so you don't get shit. Yeah, I'm pickles are awesome, well, by the way. I, 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 don't, I don't need to hear What's wrong with people Canada? who like disgusting things and stuff and winningly eat those yeah, things. Then so you I, don't get onion rings. It's the My boyfriend... I'm fine with that. My boyfriend tried to introduce me a Kool-Aid pickle, and I just can't. I can't. I can't understand Kool it. Kool-Aid Kool pickle. pickle. Hey, that sounds gross. Pickle. Yeah, that's pickle sounds nasty. Kool-Aid. Apparent. Yeah, the, here's the thing. Apparently, it's a thing in Montreal. What? That divorce them. Divorce them now. <laughs> divorce them right now. Blame French Canada. You Fuck know. You no know one's a Kool-Aid pickle, or those gross people who drink the pickle juice after they oh, eat everything from the. That's, oh, that's uh, pure sodium. You don't want to drink uh, that. My favorite pickles are pickled asparagus, pickled carrot. Uh, obviously, normal pickles are also quite good. Um, and then you can do like a light pickled salad, which is really nice. But anyway, you guys good to keep going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Only after I mentioned one so thing. So you mentioned, okay. <laughs> My dad would chug that pickle stuff. What oh, the fuck? Oh. Oh. That's not good. Like that is like, legitimately <laughs> not good. Oh. It's that just like, vinegar, isn't it? It's pure sodium. That is like literally pure sodium. That is that is the the pickling agent is like so bad for you. 
Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, I like pickled things because I had a stomach problem, and that was a food I had to eat regularly, so I yeah. grew to really like it. So that's why I like pickles, because it actually helps you Oh, you were forced. I, no, I wasn't forced. It was like, hey, you need gut flora, so pickled foods is actually apparently very good for that. So I Gut flora. So you were brainwashed. It was either that or really gross, like, gut flora drinks that tasted like curdled milk. So I think oh. I'm going to go with the pickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry to distract the game from no, pickle talk. No, dude, this is what D&D &D is about. It's about talking about pickles during the break while you guys are getting yeah. drinks. So that way Blech. people can, I can learn who's going to die first. Blech. You know what? That's All very right. fair. All right. So. I got to see where you guys are at on the map right now. And I actually need to read ahead because you guys went very fun direction. Oh, people who like pickles die oh. first, not me. Ooh. Hmm. Also, now that we're back in game, he Thaddeus is gonna pop a health potion. I mean, we could always try and take a short rest here if you'd like. In the middle of the hallway. <laughs> I mean, why not? We don't know if there is gonna be a so, safe place. <laughs> uh, one sec, I just gotta check. Um, I guess we're about to find out. Look at that—the very dangerous place of, of danger. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, the demo gorgon no! is right next to us. The creature. Yes. He's chilling. Just a guy, just a dude. Just, just chilling. Just dudes just... being bros. All right, so you have a pathway to the north, um, and there's a pathway to the south. Uh... I'll do recon up here. To the north? Good luck. Okay. All right, let me reveal some areas for you. Go ahead for me and roll a stealth check for this wall. Okay, spell book. Okay. Uh, you guys are not taking a short rest at the moment. If you guys are taking a short rest, we can do it as a group. And that means I have to move a bunch of pieces. Yeah, no, I'm reading for I'm reading ahead for later. Alright. As you turn around the corner, uh, you see up ahead some things on the floor. Uh, and what looks to be a... I'm just going to reveal the whole area. This is actually kind of perfect in a weird way. Uh, Nix, do you want to move your character up into that box, the, the bigger box, presuming he's moved ahead? Over here, you mean? Yeah. I won't do that to you if it's not safe. Yeah. Uh, as you enter it, you see a bunch of, similar to what you saw in the middle of the hallway, uh, a bunch of burnt torch stubs, discarded potion bottles, and an empty fire pit. It looks like this is a place where adventurers have stopped for a break before. Oh, well, what were you looking oh, at? Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey guys! Uh, I think I found a solution to our problem. Oh, cool! What? On my way. What you're saying, Thaddeus is just like getting ready to court the potion. Oh, hey, look! You found all the all the people's junk. Still in Bethel, by the way. Ah, uh, so this is the place where we can rest. Good. Hey, are we missing okay, somebody? So... No. Ah! What's a is it another hey, ghost? Where, hey, where is he? Hey, Nix, you know where our mage went? Um, I mean, I heard his voice, so I'm sure he's here. Oh, he's a ghost now. It's a shame that he died. I'm telling you, this place is full of nothing but ghosts. There's on his stuff. I'm going to well, pull where on. is his stuff? I'm going to pull on Nexus scarf. Just ah! Boom. Spider pull. I slashed my sword in that direction. <laughs> Go ahead, holding it with disadvantage. <laughs> Taking RP very 16. seriously. Does a 16 hit you? Yes. Roll damage. One. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Take two points of slashing damage. Does that drop your invisibility if you're hit? I can't remember. No, remember uh, one because my sword was good. Right. So you only take one point of damage. Thank God. I take one point of damage. That's the, the blade just scratches my my cheek. Gah, Jesus. Ghost. Uh, ah! No, I don't. I don't lose the invisibility, but uh, I do need to roll concentration. Yeah, you do need to roll concentration. You need to roll above a ten. Yep. Can I break your concentration? Oh man. No, he's still invisible. Yep. Can you stop that? That ghost still talking Why to me. Time Mora's tits, Jesus. Are you stuck in the mirror dimension? I'm not. No, I'm saying I am... new things. Guys, I have been invisible before. I had to escape those things. 
Why did he well, need you can us drop us down? Wait, what? Why did you need? Why did he need us then if he was invincible? In invisible, not invincible. 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 In invisible, not visible. Invincible. I will kill you. <laughs> 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 Lex goes, takes a rest. Yeah, Nix is gonna sit down and have a rest too. That is gonna chill too. Nap. All right. So, are you guys gonna take a long rest or a short rest? Let's do a long rest. Why not? We just we just came down here and we're counting long rest. Yeah, and we're tired. We ran into black ooze. We ran into like six mirror fiends. And Lex, Lex needs a rest. So I gotta hide the map because you guys are taking a long rest so give me a hot second here so long rest okay then i'm gonna have to do a couple of things then oh uh, lex puts down the cartographer or cartographer's tools uh in the middle and be like uh, one of you nerds do it and then lex falls asleep <laughs> <laughs> let's see all you're gonna be doing that <laughs> the entire time i will i will take the cartographer's kit from lex's Backpack. I need this. And... Lex is using his family break as a pillow. Oh god, that's so <laughs> sad. And question: Does a long rest restore all spell slots, or is it just one? It restores all spell slots. Yeah, for the long one. Okay. I am. I am still confused for the long doing the long rest, but okay. Uh, I will also. I will take the cartographer's, cartographer's kit. Write some notes. And I will ahead, use a third. Roll an intelligence check. If you're going to be noting down the area, you'll want to use an intelligence check here. Yeah, I will use my third level spell, though, to enchant my quill. Okay. And create a <laughs> tiny servant. Okay. This tiny little guy. For, this is for... Oh, it's this spell. Uh, doesn't this yeah. require... Oh, no, it doesn't. Nope. It just it use a uh, vocal and semantic. It's one of the to another creature with its own Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be my little assistant for the for for Abitas to work on on this map. Okay. So what what are you going to make it do while it's being created? Oh, it can do simple. I said I just saw a giant fucking spider in my room. Well, that's a new problem. The dungeon is coming out, for real. There's nothing wrong with spiders. They're very helpful creatures. No, well, you're That's true, you. but, but I never know if they're secret agents. I have a I have a contract with any spiders. If I don't see you or feel you, you're good. But if I become aware of you in any way, shape, or form, I kill you. So the enchanted quill grows arms and legs. Okay. And I'm going to be commanding it to trace for the map and the and the whole. Basically, it's going to be a Alexa at this point, just marking stuff as I, as I pointed out. Do it like it's it's so basically have the help action to work on this. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll a just because you're not proficient in her cartographer's tools. Nope. So I'm imagining. So go ahead and just roll a base intelligence check with advantage. Base intelligence check with advantage. And but up. Sixteen. Yeah, you managed to chart out the way that you've moved uh like oh god, my brain just stopped working, I'm sorry. You you managed to chart out the path that you've taken to get to this point at least. Like you've made like a little bit of like a God, I hate to reference things constantly, but have any of you guys played Silent Hill One? Where like there's a, there's one map that yes. you kind of draw it as you go, or in Silent oh. Hill Two, there's like it's it. I think it happens in every single one. There's like, a lot of horror games that do that. <laughs> so you basically do that equivalent. You make like a your own written out. It's not perfect, obviously, but it it gives the details. Across. It's a robot. I'm making sure that the this this section was marked because the, the things that spawn. Also checking on my notes. Also, this area was empty. There was just the goop. There was that guy over here. Maybe I'm longer going to be there in the future, and and like small little details. Uh, and this pen is going to be living for the next eight hours. Gonna be an interesting companion. 
It's just like a little. A little guy. It's got like arms and legs like a wiener dog. Like it's not like a standing upright figure. It's actually like 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 a little four legged, quadrupedal little animal. It's very cute. It's so weird looking too. And for some reason, it has a horrified face. <laughs> I don't know why every time I do this, they always come out like that. <laughs> and last thing I'm gonna do is take ten minutes before the re the rest to cast the unseen servant. And what would the Unseen Starvin be doing? It's going to be taking care of my clothes and polishing armor for my companions, etc. Doing menial task of cleaning our shit. Uh, are these concentration spells? Nope. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's purpose is to do exactly what he wants to do. <laughs> They're not yeah. combat stuff. They're Remember, nothing. They're I, just... don't, I don't have a dedicated spellcaster in Unexpectable, so that was weird. <laughs> Oh no, it's it's okay. We're here to no help. Worries. You. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. As you guys kind of settle in to sleep, uh, I'm assuming that the quill is keeping watch for you guys for the eight hours that exists. Yeah, it's like the butter robots. Like, what do you do? You keep watch. Oh my god. Uh, That's your purpose. Here, the take servant this thing. Unfortunately, can't fix the sword, but it will shine up the armor. It'll get the dings out. Yeah. Uh, and we'll fix things up and kind of sweep around the space. I like get rid of the old bones, like there's chicken bones from food. Which, by the way, if you're taking a long rest, you will want to have a meal as well, or else you will take a point of exhaustion. You will also yep, use a the water skin okay. for the night, so the make ration. sure to write off your water, and make mm -hmm. sure to write off a ration. You guys have a pot, I believe, and utensils, cooking supplies to cook, so you have a very, very good meal before you guys settle down for the night. Oh, yes. My medieval MRE. Yes. And one water skin use. I have one more left. Yeah, one of I'm my water skins is empty. I am concerned about that goddamn spider. <laughs> he went on my desk. It'll be fine. No, it's not. He lives in Mexico. It's not like our spider, Shay, that are just like no. mild inconveniences. Oh. It's going oh, to pull okay. out a knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at least it's not in Australia, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> Australia. Australia. Oh, yeah, by the way, would. Would our strength debuffs be rolling off by now, or...? We'll find out. Since it's a long rest. I will not meta that information. We'll find out. Okie dokie. Alright. So. Uh, your little guy, he, he keeps a perception check, right? Uh, <laughs> technically, they can, they can do that. Tiny Servant, let's take a look at you. ba 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 ba, -ba. I mean, we can also take shifts too if we need to. Yeah, that's what we that we tend to do. I imagine this. Yeah, the sermon only lasts an hour. You know what? Yeah. I'll t I'll take the first watch. Okay, I'll, guys, I'll take the first watch. You guys are actually gonna do a turn order then? Yeah. Okay. It's a bad idea to just everyone go to sleep. Yeah. Let me grab a piece of paper. Uh, you can use your simple job. I was gonna say your tiny servant lasts for eight hours. It sounds like. Oh shit! Yeah, it can so stand watch. I was, I was gonna watch. ask if he's gonna be the guy you're gonna leave on watch. Oh, I don't trust that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't, don't, trust, your I don't trust Billy to just take care of all of this by himself. All right, so who's taking first watch, Lionel? I'll do it. Who's taking second watch? I'll do it. Nix. All right. Who's taking I'll third take watch? Last. All right, Thaddeus, you've been chosen. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's my sneaky way of. He's the side point boss. All right, three. After a hearty meal of stewed rations and drinking your water, the remainder of your water, you guys settle in on bedrolls. Assuming everyone has got bedrolls. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, I did. Make sure to buy one. Curl up for the night. You sleep. Lionel, you keep watch for the night. You hear, like, far-off footsteps and echoing noises, howls. Uh, but you also hear other noises. Uh, Ooh, I can actually do something. In, I can actually do one more thing in this. I can I can uh, cast the Identify on the mask and see if it's magical. Okay, yeah, absolutely. As you do so, it is not magical. It is completely <laughs> mundane. But it could be worth something. You're not sure. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I apologize. I just need to be sure. No worries, no worries. 
Uh, the other thing you hear is up above, you hear like a rumbling noise and it bothers you and you're like, what the hell is that noise? And then you realize, oh, it's carriages above you. Carriages. Waterdeep is oh. directly above you. Uh, so mm -hmm. you do hear the idle sounds of horses and trolleys and things like that in water deep above you. But beyond that, mm. your rest is, or your watch, is uneventful. Yeah. And Billy, I want you to keep watch alongside the next person. It does like if a anything little, happens. little salute towards you with this like existential face. Yeah, you better, you better do so. Okay, and go to sleep. You kind of huddle in. You don't wake anybody up. All right. Who was next? Nix? Yep. <laughs> okay. I'll get up. Um, during my watch, can I have like a little fire going and try to purify some of that water that Lionel was carrying around? What do you have to purify the water? I just meant to try and boil it just to see if it did anything. Uh, you get boiled gross water. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't think I want to have anything to do with that then could be an exotic tea <laughs> if you're brave enough to try it. Nah, I think I'll just let Lionel know in the morning that it's it's no good. Okay. Beyond <laughs> that, you yeah. kind of sleep without issue. Nothing happens. Alright, your watch is over, and Thaddeus, I believe you wake up Thaddeus next. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? what? Uh, oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> All right, and what do I need to roll? Uh, nothing. You're just keeping watch. I have to roll. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I need you to roll a perception check for me. Hmm. Okay. okay. Negative one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Three. Does the quill also get a perception check? <laughs> it's a good uh, question. Yes, it has Four. stats, so yes, it should. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead so and for just, perception. Roll, just roll a, a d20. We're yeah, easy 20. He has no modifiers. Well, me or the thing? No, the little... Not the little, little eh. mm. <laughs> you suck, Billy. <laughs> Billy! Oh, boy. I mean, it is a quill. Yeah. Uh, Polyhedra TV, thank you so much for rating with a party of 11. Welcome to the game. Uh, please do not post spoilers of this pre-made adventure, we ask. It will result in a ban, but we're happy to have you, and we hope you enjoy the game. Thaddeus, as you are... What would you be doing idly, kind of distracted at the moment, while... He's just, like, po he's just like, like polishing off and, like, brushing off his equipment. You're, like, Probably stitching, just like, stitching up that one hole you got in that one fight, maybe, even. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Trying to upkeep his appearance as much as possible. It is... A wonder how you don't notice something so large enter into your space as you hear like a slight footstep movement and you slow turn over and you see completely taking over the entire entryway uh, this creature mm. leaning in and peering at all of you oh god come on roll 20 don't lie to me please As a massive construct peers around the corner, looking at all of you sleeping, and you watch as it raises its hands and, like, wiggles its fingers towards you, and nothing happens. Go away, I'm sleeping! <laughs> Let's go back Thaddeus to sleep. is just sitting there in fucking shock, but he's also tired. Tired from everything that's happening, and he's just, like, just staring at it. You watch he's as it, like, does the finger wiggle for a while, and the hands just... And it brings up its hands and goes like like with a like sort of motion forward, like just like foom foom foom, and nothing happens. Uh, roll an insight check. Okay, here we go. Insight. I'm actually de decent at this. Twelve. You, you don't know what the fuck this thing is doing. Um, it like does some weird stuff with its hands, like doing these symbols. And then does like a Kamehameha motion, and then nothing happens. And it like, the arms go down. It 180s, and it just leaves. The f 
He is going to do a head turn, raise his eyebrow, and he's just going to wait till that thing is fucking gone. Waiting. 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 Waiting just a bit more. And he's just going to slowly get up and see what the fuck was going on over there. Alright, is he going to look around? You don't see anything. Uh, could I make a Arcana check to see if there's anything he did? Absolutely, go ahead and roll an Arcana check. Okay, I'm good at this. Yeah! 50. You're scratching your head. You're like, what the fuck was that? And then you realize some of the hand signals it was doing were semantic components for spells. Whatever this thing was, was trying to cast spells at you, didn't do them, and then fucked off. Huh. Well then... Hmm. I'll keep that in mind for later. He's just gonna slowly back up and go back to where he was. And just go back to... <laughs> and with a, like, wide eye, just completely in shock, try and go back to his maintenance. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't a ghost. It wasn't a ghost. It wasn't As you're a ghost. paying more attention to your environment now, that sudden... That sudden weird experience, you do hear like the sound of heavy metal footsteps just getting closer, disappearing, like getting farther away. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I can see why people don't come out of here. And he's just gonna like diligently stay watch for the rest of the night. Okay. Just uh, just staring down the hallway. The rest of your watch goes off without a hitch. And everyone, as everyone else wakes up, you just see oh, Thaddeus, wide-eyed. Your your oh. your watch is not the last one. You have one more person after you. Lex is next. Oh, okay, okay. Hey. Uh, Lex. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I believe it's your turn now. Uh, Although, do keep in mind. Uh huh. Just finally uh, let us. I'll tell you in the morning, but just look down this hallway, and if you see anything happen, let us know. I mean, Do not I mean, take you your mean? eyes off this it, hallway. Do you it, understand? It sounds like you saw some. It was. I'm honestly still trying to process it. I need uh -huh. some rest. So it was like a goblin, or like a... It was a really big man, even bigger than me, and he uh -huh. was doing these weird finger wiggly at me. Uh -huh. He was trying to do something, but he failed. I'm not sure what he was trying to do, but he must have lost interest. But if he comes back, let us know. Immediately. Okay? Right. Okay. Lex believe him at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy is uh was sure that was water in his water skin or maybe exactly. something else. Did he drink the, the, the weird liquid? And <laughs> he's going to fall back he's gonna rustle his way back to bed, but he's gonna be a bit shaken from that. Alright, Lex. All right. Lex proceed with a natural one. Fuck <laughs> Oh my god. Lex <laughs> You fall asleep on your watch. As soon as he goes to sleep, Lex immediately goes back to sleep. Okay, let me read something really fast. Boy, am I glad Neil is still up now. We still have the quill. 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 There's hope. There's hope. <laughs> There's oh, hope. Man. Your heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. You're welcome. All the indie part is just evolving to four idiots. <laughs> Good. You guys are so fucking lucky. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> As dawn, you think, arrives, you're not sure. Uh, you guys all wake up in spattered unison as uh, your guys' fire spits out. And as you guys awaken, you are unscathed, unharmed. One of you is... 
you ever had those moments where you're like, did that actually happen? No. But, but it did. But no. Um, you guys awaken. You gain the benefits of a full rest. Um, your water skins, though, are empty. Uh, and you have, uh, you know, you've eaten, so you're good to go. Uh, uh, giant man! Uh, what? So uh, Thaddeus. Nothing happened. We're fine. Yeah, you're like the uh, tallest one here. Wait, I'm not sure if this is a dream or not. Lex, are you just waking? Lex, are you just waking up? Lex. Uh, Lex. What? Are I'm, you I'm, just I'm, waking Lex? up? Lex. He's gonna grab him by the shoulders. Did you look down the hallway? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Because you are in the same exact bedroll you were when I woke you. I mean, there's no reason for me like to stand, or I can still look down places when I'm laying down. You know, I mean, he's just gonna, he's gonna fucking manically look down the hallway of his dark vision. All right. He's gonna look back into the area where he was ca trying to cast the spells. You look down. Yeah. You don't see anything, but you swear the shadows they move. There's, yeah, there's like some there rat no way. stuff, and I and I stood them away. Okay, now hold on, hold on. <laughs> there Billy, was no way that they could have fit through here. <laughs> Lionel looks at, looks at the quill. Like Billy, before you go into the gray beyond in a couple of minutes, uh, anything happened last night? I know, I know you cannot talk, but like, is this guy okay with the whole giant man thing? Uh, Lex is you, you watch like, his... don't say a word. Just, just Roll a persuasion not. check, Lex. <laughs> <For> Billy. <laughs> to my servant. Five. Nice. <laughs> Uh, one. you watch as Billy the Quill uh, kind of springs up and points towards Thaddeus and points down the hallway and like nods like it just tilts his body up and down in a nodding motion like yes oh, oh god the dream, the dream. that wasn't a dream Billy points towards Lex and unfortunately is not persuaded uh, and does like a sleeping motion with the hands clapped together and then points <gasps> towards Lex. It's a lion, man. It's a lion. Lex. I, I, I saw the entire time. I got rid of two rats. I can tell it you right now. Dream. I can tell you right now, William Quilton the Fourth will never uh -huh. lie to me. As you say that, William Quilton the Fourth dies. William <laughs> no! <laughs> How can you take the word of something that doesn't exist? Huh? It exists once every night. It's okay, Billy. It's okay. Can't believe you're gonna take a magical, you know, animated object over your friend Lex here. You don't talk shit about Willy. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> you don't even remember his name. <laughs> I like to imagine while this argument is going on in like the background, Nix is looking at the camera in the foreground like she's on the office. <laughs> like, yep, these are my companions. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Nix is gonna stealth up and uh, check down the hallway. People are saluting in chat for the the loss. <laughs> Meanwhile, of like you were just like Good. you can see Thaddeus is like holding his head, screaming, "Ah, it wasn't a dream!" Like Alex <laughs> Yee from what, Y2K. Oh, Hold God. on, I'm gonna fucking. Just in the picture. That's a poll, Jesus. <laughs> Hold oh. on, I got a perfect picture. Put put ah! back, in the, back in the bag. <laughs> Checking everything is fine. We're forgetting nothing. Double checking the uh, the map. Put it back in the in the bag. How is Lex looking, by the way? Is he still strength you guys fucked up? Who had your strength reduction? It is gone. It leaves after a rest, so you're fine. Ah, nice. Okay, okay. So that wasn't a dream. So I suppose I need to tell you there was a giant metal man down the hallway. Oh, oh, you're gonna. Uh... Don't tell me you're gonna believe you, that. I mean, you say he was doing he was, semantic things? He was trying to wiggle his fingers and cast spells, but he had no mouth. He had no mouth and he couldn't scream. He could Let's wiggle. just point to him with his hands and back to him, hit back over to him, back to him, like, come on. <laughs> Lex is like, I just want around me. It, this, like, it stuff. was real. Is the ground here still like sand or is this stone? It's like stone, yeah. So, okay. I was curious if there were any tracks or anything that Nyx could, you know, pick up. You do notice where you saw one of those, like, torches that, have, like, were just kind of tossed. 
It has mm -hmm. been crunched down by a very large boot print. Oh, he was not crazy. It wasn't a dream, that's what I keep telling you! Yeah, I know, William told me. Hmm. Can I hear anything if I perception check listen? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I forgot to move my token. Yep. 15. Yeah, no, you don't really hear anything. There's just ambient noises, the echoing, scratches, things like that. But beyond that, yeah, you don't hear anything. I remember oh. specifically, he somehow fit through this extremely small corridor, and then he just left this way. Small, I don't know anything like else. Wide. But he was huge! He was bigger than me and you, and all of us Wait. together! Thaddeus, if he was so big, how come he managed to get all the way down the corridor without you waking us? Snuck up on you, uh, buddy? Oh, uh, well, I was doing some... well... <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's worry about that later. You were studying your cantrips, we'll get it. Hey, I know more than just mere cantrips. I'm gonna stealth up a bit and go up ahead again. Okay, go ahead and roll that would check. be a good idea, I guess. Okay. Is that a corridor here? That is the mirror room. Oh, that's a, uh -oh. I thought it was... Oh, I thought it was further below. I will reveal more of that for you. Just so you have it. Remember, not, don't go through the mirror thing again. Are you sure? It was so much fun. Oh. Had a blast. <laughs> oh man, More we could just farm them for experience. Yeah, right. There's no experience <laughs> in this. No, I know. You can run this I'm... module with experience if you wish. Yeah, you guys following me or should I stealth up ahead? Oh, I sure am. Yeah. Make sure to take your turns to move. It's very important in this module. That is will be in the back. Can you measure out 60 feet for me? Oh, actually that works perfect. Okay, I will continue to stealth forward. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, uh, that's not a very good stealth check. As you are kind of sneaking <laughs> forward, your foot <laughs> steps on a rat skeleton and just crackles and breaks. I freeze. I literally just stop and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> you hear some movement to the east. Mm. I peer down to the east. Uh, you hear the door open up, and you hear a bunch of voices ring out. Nim Rafe, Nim Rafe, Nim Rafe, and then the door closes and the sound stops. What the fuck? Roll a perception check for me. Ooh. Oh. Natural 20. Crap, come on, little point. Be nice. I love that we are hugging the wall, so we're not close to the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Lex. Yeah. Lex likes to live dangerously. You hear me, some me? padding footsteps approaching. I would like everyone to make a group stealth check for me, please. Uh, nope. what? Group stealth check I... for me. Oh, group stealth check. Yep. Four. Oh. My god. Can buy some stealth. Fourteen. Fourteen. You guys managed to succeed with three successes and one failure. Oh. As a goblin turns the corner... Like side to side, just kind of keeping an eye out at the sudden crunching noise. <sighs> and then, like, you watch as he steps away. You hear <laughs> the door open, and again, you hear several voices chanting out, Nim Riff! Nim Riff! Nim Riff! And you hear, like, a sound of something colliding with something else, and then the door <clears throat> closes. Was she hot? No. No! <laughs> No, Bracky, and it was a he. <laughs> was he hot? No. No. Uh, Nimrith. Yeah, you Nimrith. heard the word uh, Nimrith. Uh, Nimrith. N-I-M-R-A-I-T-H. 
PH Nimbus. Goblins chanting. I'm gonna like whisper back. Beat goblin. Ah, uh, I don't speak go Do you guys speak goblin? I speak orc. Isn't that the same? In some dialects, it sounds similar. As you guys look forward to this strange goblin occupied space, we're going to end our first session there, actually. Yay. Hey! It is All 5 right. to 11. I think that's a healthy place to stop. Yeah, four hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I love I love dungeon crawling. It's the first time I do it and I love it. Well, we didn't die session one, so that's always a bonus. Yeah. yeah. Until was, next time. It was a bit of a, we survive our first session! Hooray! The mini You survive for now. But at what cost? And you look at look at Billy. He's just oh. dead. He's a quill now. Well, it'll be fun. There, there will be another, right? Oh, yeah. We'll be doing uh, another session next week. So I'll try and upload the uh, VODs as much as I can, but it's a lot to manage. But I will try to upload them. If people are curious about this, do point them in the direction of the Twitch VODs. That's the easiest way to access this. But I will attempt to upload them to my own personal um, YouTube channel. The VOD the archive? Yeah, just to archive it for the most part. Mm -hmm. But... Thank you guys for joining me. This was really fun. How did you like it, chat? Yeah. Oh. We had a lot of new people poke their heads in. Um, yeah. I think someone came in and yeah. like, wow, brave of you to stream D&D &D during Critical Role. And I'm like, we're <laughs> just here to play a game. I got I just nothing to have to fun. Listen, yeah. it, is also, different. it is also the only day we all have available. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. late so schedule-wise, it was the only option. Yeah. So, um... But yeah, we was... you guys. I wish I could show you the full map, but you guys carved a decent way through so far. But this map is huge, massive. Mm -hmm. But uh, can be better if the goblins were hot. I'm sorry, we're in Forgotten <laughs> Realms. The goblins are hot. They're very much pull... potentially not sexy, and I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know how to work with it. No. Uh, Listen, sorry, I needed to make, we I needed to make the joke. You know me. Some of them could be hot, but this is Forgotten oh, Realms. They don't respect their goblins here. They don't make them hot. I'm sorry. Oh, you have not played Baldur's Gate 3. Goblin Racer. I'm not erasing them. They're very much there. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably several. Oh, so many. But, uh, mm, yeah. No. Goblin. They're... The only thing I would say with this module so far is the amount of moving pieces. Like... Mm -hmm. The moment you get to one point, like, stuff just starts happening, and I have to, like, move things around as things are happening. Yeah, and stuff that happens in one room can, like, also affect in, in other yeah. rooms. Like, that happened in a dungeon when I was in a ah, freaking Tomb of Annihilation. Yep, they do that a lot, where it's like, oh, if players do X, Y, Z, then in this room, X, Y, and Z becomes X, Y, and Z because of this factor, this factor, this factor, and this factor. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. Like, the moment you guys hit the sand, immediately, like, I had to do a bunch of stuff already. Like, I'm like, okay. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, jeez. The moment you enter, like, shit happens instantly, but depending on what your guys' first initial actions are. So, that is very intriguing. Meaning we could have possibly died if... Things if I happen ate the sand! Things happen in the... Things happening in the background necessarily isn't, like, negative things. It's just, like, pieces doing things in the background, which is also very fun. Like, if you don't go down there, then roll on a table. Maybe this creature is roaming around. Mm -hmm. Like the robot. Oh, yeah. There's roaming creatures on every level, oh. at least. I think almost oh, every level. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, so I regret not picking up uh, Leoma's tiny hut. I didn't want to abuse that, but now I'm very tempted. <laughs> hot damn. Yeah, there's some there's some stuff that uh, can meander around. They don't really have very good rules for it. They're like, ah, just use this whenever. And I'm like, I'm gonna have it be like a percentile roll, where if they roll God. over a certain percentile, depending on where they are, they get something that happens. So I am so mm. mad. I would I would have interacted with that rabbit a little bit. Like try to 
Let's do the same signals. <laughs> Give him a pen. <laughs> Maybe he kills me. Oh, whoops. Trying to make him a friend. <laughs> but yeah. because he didn't attack us, that's the that's the interesting part. He like, tried he to attack us, but he was like he couldn't like he yeah, literally uh, had well, no mouth. No, to try to... he. He, he tried to cast spells, but then if he if he went to attack us, he would have smashed us. For those of you guys who are, who've been watching the entire time and who are who haven't run this module or have interest in this module, don't uh, say anything. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, but uh, yeah. just for in case anyone's like, oh, that's cool that Monty threw that in. I didn't. This stuff was all in the game. Um, mm -hmm. Now there's some vagueness, like with the mirror thing. It literally states that if a like a creature goes past it, it makes a simulacrum mm -hmm. of that creature. So. As a DM, I had to make the rulings there, and I'm like, every time, it, if there, it makes it makes a person. If and it makes sense. I love that trap because it it makes it so if you double back because you're afraid, yeah. more are going to keep spawn. It's a trap. It's pretty I'm like, cool. I like this. I'm like, this is actually pretty great, and I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, I'm like, that's neat. That's very cool. Um, I'm glad I'm not we're, run, we're not running EXP because people would probably farm those. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, that immediately. The biggest thing is I felt really bad as you used the holy water, but they are, like, the craziest thing is, like, there are creatures that are, they're like, okay, you're going to use the stat block, but this creature is actually this. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't have this, this, or this, and instead has this, and it's like, you have to run it like that. And I'm like, shit, okay. So Like, I think it was undead and, like, maybe one other type, so that's why I thought so it might be one of the two. Instead of being undead, they're constructs instead, which is very interesting. Ah. Yeah. Oh. So it's like their creature type is changed to construct instead of, of, uh, of undead for like, normal cool. standard shadows. That is whack. They wow. can't summon other shadows, which is really nice. Um, now can you imagine? <laughs> oh, God. It'd be so brutal. But, uh, yeah. No, it was... Very, it's a very neat module. It's got a lot of different interesting little things. Uh, some of the vagueness is nice. It gives you some wiggle room if you want to put in your own little flavor. But at times, the lack of specificity can be kind of like, oh shit, I have to make this up on the fly. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, that's good to learn too. But mm -hmm. yeah, did you guys have fun? Yeah, uh, yeah I had a lot of fun. It's a different... Uh, did you have fun as a linear master? Yeah, I, I like... Dude... I have to do shit. All I had to do was read yeah. it like once through, and then like when we get to each section, if you guys, as long as you guys give me some time to read, mm -hmm. we're good. We're totally yeah. We have fine. no rush. This is Hell nothing yeah. formal. It's just yeah. us having fun. It's super good. I, I like this module a lot. I think it's well. I think it's well written, uh, with enough wiggle room to make people like really experiment a little bit. Um, I felt a little bad because like. I... <laughs> Poor Lex, like, his sword gets damaged right off the bat. Yeah. And immediately your hey, strength gets drained. But I'm like, you know what? Zorn yeah. likes a difficult encounter. So, you know what? Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. But... Yeah. Maybe he's, he's not... yeah, he's the only tank in a party of, like, a wizard, a sorcerer, and a rogue. So... And a ranged one, too. That life, life really do be like that. I, I'm very curious to see how far this group goes without a healer. I think it's definitely possible, but I'm, I'm going to be a little scared. Mm. But uh, I'm putting my money on it. That might that will be the first one to die. I bet. Nah, I, I, I'm putting my money on the you know the tank who keeps getting screwed over. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. There's not just monsters yeah. in here to be worried about. There's other things. So That is true. Yeah. Traps in general. Uh, the so we're going to start... Wait. The first layer is definitely, like, very engaging, but some of the later layers of the dungeon get oh, so fucking good. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm very because, excited. yeah, if we, we're in the first layer, it's like, people have gone through this before. The moment we start going to lower levels, it's like, people don't get here. No, there, there are some layers where I'm just like, what the fuck, that's brilliant. I've never seen anybody, like, do this. This is very, very, very cool. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm hoping we. Now can you're get making there. me curious. <laughs> I know, yeah. like that's that's that is this module. Like I'm like this is definitely like a be curious module. Sometimes it works out, and other times you find a cool Sahagan statue that has nothing to offer, but it's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah all cool. it has to offer is black ooze. It's like ooze, a stranger sword. <sighs> yeah, it bit me. It you might be able to it. get your new sword. Maybe you steal from brain. these goblins. But. There's only one element that's kind of going to be homebrewed, but it's going to be pretty obvious, I think, when it happens. But they invite it. They're like, hey, for this section, put stuff here. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. Or they're like, they're like, 
either have this be nothing or put something here. And I'm like, I'll put something here. I think that'll. They be don't fun. want you to be restricted to what that rule the book says. No, they don't. And that's that's <laughs> something that's very very cool about this module. It's just like, yeah, here's your dungeon. Oh, what? You want to add, like, five more rooms? Go for it! You want to remove rooms? Go for it! Like, have fun. You want so. to have some of these over there? Yeah, do it! Shahal and Froggy's mom says, The real treasure of Undermountain is the Sahagan statues we've met along the way. Yeah. I'm looking at chat, too. They really want us to use our soap in an encounter. Oh, there I'm are, so using yeah. soap. There are legitimately places, and, like, and this is the thing, you won't know it as players, but there are places where I'm like, yeah, the soap could possibly get them out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Possibly. I, we we made, have it's a so joke, much soap. but I love it. Like, Bracky, how much soap did you pack again? Ten. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Let me see. Uh, so, soap, soap. so chat, oh, you realize that a uh, soap doesn't have any weight to it, so you can just yeah. pack as much as you want. And it's cheap I was thinking, too. It's cheap. I was thinking. I was. I said, if this was just a joke, I would have spent five hundred gold in just soap. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a joke, but no. What's the monster I monster hunter that's like the soapy ferret? Mizuzune. Mizuzune. Oh, Mizuzune. That's right. yeah. yeah. Your your goal to become Mizuzune. Oh, the final form. Right. No, this You'll is see, really we're great. Going... I really enjoyed this. The other thing about this, which with patient, with chat, chat, you guys are great, by the way, chat. Um, thanks for being super patient with this whole thing. There is always a pressure to perform when you do D, D online and stuff but the fact that you yeah. guys were you know you guys were just vibing and taking time when we were checking on rules and stuff and not like you know getting agitated i really appreciate that because again this this game is meant to let's go over rules make sure that we're doing this right and like mm -hmm. also like the whole thing with your invisibility i'm like hey i learned something i learned that you don't get opportunity attacks if you turn invisible and you go through enemies like that's mm -hmm. really cool i, didn't I, know I remember I had that rule in my brain specifically because one of my players pulled that on me. I, uh, I, they... Yeah, I was like, I was like, no, you can. I know you can attack invisible targets. It's just with yeah. disadvantage. That's it's what provokes the from. the opportunity attack. Yeah, I didn't know that. So that's really really neat. Mm -hmm. One of my players, uh, the way they applied that to me was they use a smoke bomb, and they run away, and I'm like, and I'm like, now... okay, so it's got opportunity attack. Now, say if like, the creature has see. blind sense or it has, there. you know, something yeah. like that. Unfortunately, then it gets opportunity attacks. So yeah, because no because that's a, that's a that's overrules it. Cover is interesting. I'm like I'm like part of me is just like, damn, not being able to fire through allies is a bit of a pain in the ass if they're like the same size as you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm like that does make it challenging and make it more interesting at times. So I'm like I can see the benefits of it because. Bosco, when I was talking to the Unexpectables players about like certain mechanics that they really maybe wanted to see more grandfathered into future games, Bosco mm -hmm. really wanted to see com cover. Um, so that's why we're doing cover and we're doing all that. Yeah. So Cover is pretty yeah. good as long as the room also helps with it because more yeah. often than not, it happens a lot in a lot of games where it's all just empty square room. And yeah. it's like, ah, oh, damn. No, the environments in this game are very, like, those nooks and stuff with the mirrors in them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is a really complicated environment. But this is good. This is a learning experience. And there are some rooms that are very fascinating, for sure. But, yeah, I guess this is where we're going to close out for the night. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming to the game. I did not look at all at how many people were watching uh, during <laughs> the game. Um, if you're new here, this is your first time watching anything on this channel. Hi! Um... We're going to be doing this hopefully every Thursday, and on Sunday we I do Metopia, so we do Metopia on Sunday, and by we I mean myself, and it's very very fun. And then Thursday we're going to be doing this game because I think this is going to be a good motivator, and it's going to be a good learning experience. And so far as players, yeah, you guys are all right, I guess. Yeah, I take all right. Hey. That that Shay character, I don't know about her. I might kick yeah, her out yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty awful. Yeah, pretty t fucking fucking terrible. But uh terrible. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see who do we want to raid. I'm so used to playing D&D &D and doing all of the bit callouts and all the outros, and which all, by the way, all the professional did, stuff. If you did bits and subs, thank you so much. If I missed them, I'm sorry. I tried to type them out in the chat while we're running the game, but at the same time I also have to run the game. Uh, but thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. The goal of this game, though, is just to bring up hours on my channel, to be honest, because I only stream, like, once a week, and that's really bad, and I need to maintain it for my being a partner. But Twitch, John Twitch hasn't gotten pissed at me yet, so I'm like, all right. But still, it's something more to do and more engaged. But 
but, but thank you for feeding the mimic. He's very happy. Look yeah, he's look at him. He's full. Look at mimic. Yeah. Mimic boy. So full. Him. Oh. It works really well, Bradley. I'm glad. <laughs> All right, let's see. Who do we want to raid? What about Octopim? Uh, let's see who I have. I usually try and favor people who have less view viewers. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, God. Meaning That's you fair. don't want to raid Critical Role. What? I think they need our help, guys. <laughs> oh, they need our <laughs> help. Let's Look at them. Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer is struggling to pay those bills. I mean, come on. <laughs> right. Ooh, starving, a, man. He's got a parrot he's got to feed. Those yachts um, don't feel themselves. Yeah, exactly. No, they're good. They they do a ton of charity work and stuff, which is really cool with the Critical Role. Um, yeah. We are going to raid... Yeah, we'll raid Octopimp. Yeah, that's the only person I have up at right now. So let's mm. raid Octopimp. Hell yeah. Now, what should the message be? Um, oh, something about soap. Yeah, wash up. <laughs> What shop? Oh. You need more soap. More soap. More soap. That more will be soap. our raid message. More, more soap. soap. More soap. More soap. More soap. Oh, is it Sci Fi's birthday? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, Sci Fi's playing Silent Hill 2. I'm sorry. Change of plans. Oh, hell yeah. Sci Fi's. Soap. 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 Yeah. More soap. Have fun more with Sci Fi soap. and tell him happy birthday. More soap. More soap. Yeah, birthday. Birthday. Happy soap. birthday. Here's more soap. You more. need it. Yep. More. Oh. It's going to be soap. like a personal attack. <laughs> <laughs> You're stinky. Wash up.